Hello, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Adventures in a Stary. Yay! Thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out. Uh, I'm so excited to start this campaign tonight. Uh, finally, I have had um, this story sort of in mind for a while. This world has been brewing in little portions for a good five months or so now. Uh, we had our session zero last week with this amazing group of people. And uh, tonight we begin. Um, I'm gonna get started basically right away and bring everybody on. Um, please, as always, let me know if there are any issues with uh, audio or visual. I am fairly confident in my talking ability, but less confident in my computer ability. So holler if there's issues. Um, but without any other ado, let me bring on the beautiful cast of Adventures in a Stary. Huzzah! Welcome, everybody. Uh, don't forget to unmute yourself because we're good on. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, thank you, Sensei. I don't know why it says Hades because I definitely changed it. I'll go in and try and change that again and refresh it as I'm doing um, intros. So why don't we all just throw it off right away. Ooh, I guess I should introduce myself to anybody who's new. Hello. My name is Saint Stella. You can find me anywhere on the internet as Saint Stella. I use uh, she or they pronouns. And I'm gonna let everybody else take over. Let's go across the stream. Uh, Christina, tell me about yourself, uh, who you are and where people can find you on the internet. Yeah, for sure. I'm Christina, she, her, or ex-Tina. Um, you can find me pretty much across the internet at Greekachu. Uh, that's pretty much it. If it's not Greekachu, it's the Greekachu. Um, but yeah, I'm a podcaster, streamer, and just here vibing. I'll be playing Stassi. Amazing. Um, Kat, you're up. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, I am Kat, or otherwise known as Nerdlandia on most social, um, and I will be playing MK Skip Hop. What's up? Um, let me paste your stuff in while I try and fix my Twitch titles away. Um, who's up next? Who's up next? And who wants to run introductions for me? Murphy, you're up next. Murphy, it's me. Up. Hi, I'm Murphy. I play <laughs> Bill. Um, you can find me on Instagram <laughs> at Vic Lewinsky, where I used to be a drag queen. And, uh, that's the only place I am on the internet. <laughs> and here now. <laughs> and here now. Now I'm here. I have two places <laughs> on the internet where I exist. This Amazing. Um, so it's sort of ish news right now. Um, the lovely Valiant Dorian is uh, mid-continence at the moment, potentially. Um, I think he should be joining us at any moment. Um, we're just sort of trying to get a hold on that, uh, and we'll bring him in as soon as we can. But in the meantime, Jem, you look wonderful Hi. today with your red lipstick. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, one of the viewers, I did this makeup in about 10 minutes, half of which was on the soundtrack of the stream, because I came from urgent care. I'll let you know if I have COVID in 24 to 72 hours. Oh, but no. yeah, I've noticed just disabled and fab. Uh, surprisingly, that name was not taken anywhere, so it's on all of the interwebs, it's me. I also stream every other Saturday on Doug the Dragonborn's Twitch, but here I play Jezebel Foyaveka, and I talk about languages and go into disability stuff sometimes. Also, I color, so if you see me glancing down, I'm coloring, I'm gonna show it at the end of the stream. I think that's gonna be my thing. That's gonna be your thing. Awesome. Okay, yeah. let me post your links. And then last but certainly not least, vocal <laughs> outburst, uh, give Hello. it to me, huh? <laughs> Hi, I'm Vocal Outburst. Uh, he, him pronouns are cool. I will be playing Fernel Leithy, uh, a uh, Earth Genasi uh, being who uh, is going to be the. I will uh, gladly take the blame for all chaos that ensues this campaign of uh, this season. So uh, just, just, just lay it on me. Like if you have it, I'm, I'm here for it. Uh, so thanks for having me. I mean, listen, I know that you will be chaos, but knowing Murphy, you will not be the uh, the sole uh, force for chaos. I, uh, I understand that there is competition and I recognize that, but I do want to <laughs> let you know that I have had experience in the chaos realm. Yeah. So I, I just I just, me. Wanna, I just want to know what you're up against. <laughs> Great footnote. There, there are two yeah. chaos chaos magic sources. Wild sorcerers, yeah, me and Val. Neither of them are me or vocal. Just okay, but on do the you record. have a great axe? But do you have a great axe? A great I'm axe? Just saying. No, but I have a record of great games. Well, okay, right. 
I think I it's just a party of gremlins. It's just a party of What's gremlin players. We are a party of gremlins. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, I have officially um, updated the Twitch to know that I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons, and I'll let everybody yes. here know we're playing Dungeons and Dragons. Oh my god, I'm in the wrong I'm in the wrong stream. I gotta go. I was here to play Fortnite. Dungeons and Dragons! Dungeons and Dragons! Um amazing. Okay. So welcome everybody. Um thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you, players, for being here. Um I appreciate you all and I hold on. I think that possibly possibly Val is trying to get in. Give me um s hey, can everybody go around and tell me the racing class of your character real quick? before we begin, while I see if I can get Val in here. Uh, uh, I'll start, since uh, I think I'm the first. Uh, but yeah, she's a high elf and she's a warlock. Mm. Um, I guess that's me. I am a halfling uh, cleric druid. And I have a shovel. I love your ass. shovel. <laughs> Her name is Debris. It's brilliant. Debris. Like I also wow. make drinks. I love that. Yeah, we named the drink from uh, session zero. It is the feisty badger. It is canon now. Mm -hmm. It I is have, apple juice, some... coffee, and what else? What what did we say it was? Oh, God. Tea. Up, yeah, tea. tea. Okay, so Stella and I did a little bit of research when we were sitting on a patio the other day, and <laughs> as you um, do, coffee and orange juice is a thing that exists. It is. It is a thing. Mm -hmm. So that I found a little horrifying. I'm not gonna lie. I also agree with that. Good, good. But it is the feisty badger, so. Cool. Amazing. Cool. Um, uh, Bill is a half orc ranger, and he is a swarm keeper ranger, and I think we've kind of figured as a group that he has bees, bees. as his swarm. Yeah. yeah. In a good yeah. way. Uh, Jez is an Eladrin, so a seasonal elf sort of thing, uh, who is a combo wild magic sorcerer and fighter. I do not have a great axe, I do have a hand axe, and a lyre, and some daggers. And chaotic magic and a bird. And a bird. And a bird. The bird. bird can't attack. Burb. Burb. And the burb. <laughs> uh, I am an Earth Genasi uh, barbarian. Uh, and so I'm basically the rock. <laughs> That's actually fucking awesome. Okay. Quick start to me. You're welcome. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Val will hopefully join us midway. Um, he's having some internet issues, but this is what we do. Live entertainment, baby. This it's is all how good. we roll. It's all good. It's all good. So, y'all, let us begin. <clears throat> it is the year 325. On the continent of Asteri, on the planet of Tahiri, in the Auroraverse. Da, da, da. The date is October 3rd. Today is the last performance of A Midwinter's Fall by ancient playwright Force Shutterlands. Today it's being performed outside of the Merry Morn Tavern in Deronia. Just as the last monologue of the show is ending and the actors are about to enter the stage for their bows, a suit of armor that was sitting next to the stage Comes I think we have a vowel. Oh, do we really? I love you all so much. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Things oh, happen. Good for you. You're like happy. Here, here. Here We're we so happy you're here. Okay, we are at the Merry Morn in Deronia. Some of you in the play, some of you in the audience, some of you serving the audience. Like I said, just as the last monologue is being said, one of these suits of armors that had laid for years and years, just as decoration outside of the Merry Morn has come to life. It takes a few step, and just as she is about to step on stage for her bow, swacks Jezebel in the face. She stumbles to the ground. Chaos ensues. Tell me, we'll go around. Where is your character? And what do they do when this happens? Um, let's start backwards order. Um, what is Fresnel doing? Full applauseing, full applause. <laughs> that, is, that was an amazing show. I'm in the back of the theater because I showed up about uh, three quarters of the way through, um, but I do have a drink. Uh, I just found it like on the ground. It's like halfway full. 
uh, somebody just left it there on the side of the rows of the of the theater, and I just picked it up. Um, oh. But yeah, that whole that whole thing, I just that was amazing. I I fully enjoyed that. Oh my that was in awe. Um, let's do the first roll of the game. Uh, for now, give me an insight check. Yes. I'm so bad at it. Do I need to take damage or am I just fine? Uh, that will be... Oh, okay. A 13. Okay. You start applauding. First blush, you're like, this is a weird way to end the play, but I'm into it. And then mm -hmm. you notice a little bit of blood trickling out of the corner of this performer's mouth. And you're like, oh, wait, wait. Is this not part of the performance? Okay. Jezebel. You know this is not a part of the performance because you are one of the actors in this yeah. play. You are about 30 seconds away from the cast coming on stage and taking their final bows. And this thing swacks you in the face. You stumble. Um, you just take six points of damage. Ooh, first damage. Okay. I'm going to say uh, first a lot. All right, I see how it is. Um, and you stumble a bit. What do you do next? Um... I will, oh, we're not supposed to do, ma I'm going to do magic. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I think you mentioned last time that there's more than one suit of armor that's moving, right? No, there's one that moved. There are three in this backyard, in this sort okay. of like back patio where the, the, the stage and all the audience is. Um, only one of them has moved. Okay. Um, I am going to, hmm, I guess it's already close to me, so I can't do that. All right, I am going to cast Chaos Bolt Amazing. onto the thing. So what I have to do is, I have to make a ranged attack, okay, and then I have to do a random roll for the type of energy. This thing is right so, next to you, so if it's a ranged attack, you'll be taking it with disadvantage. Oh, is it a ranged attack? Uh, uh, oh, it is a ranged spell attack. Damn it. Okay. Um, take that back. Then I will use burning hands. That right. doesn't require range. Um, so for that one, then I need to set stuff on fire. So you have to make a deck save. This when thing doubt, does not have high yeah. health, I'll tell you that. Oh, oh my god, my first roll of the campaign, y'all. I don't know if you can see this. Oh, oh no. Yay! I mean, sorry. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, you can't I love it. I have wow. one of those dice, too. They're the best. That's wow, amazing. first roll of the yeah. campaign? Was that that one. <laughs> Not one. Okay, wonderful. So, you are... I cast this at first level, so you'll be taking 3d6 of damage. I don't know right. if you do double damage since you crit failed. Uh, I'm trying no, to find my third. No. Okay. You don't want to take double damage. <laughs> no. Uh, okay, so that it's just, is... It's just really funny. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nine points of fire damage. Damn. Not bad. Uh, not bad. I can't think of any quippy lines, so I'm just going to scream. Yeah. <laughs> you Hopefully scream. that will alert the... Um, when in doubt, scream. People. Oh. No. Oh, dear. Um, I didn't notice this, but it happened now. So if anyone else is on the stage in a 15-foot cone, uh, they're going to have to do that, too, because things are going on fire. Like um, anything that's flammable. There is probably one person she kills the town. in front of you. So let me roll. Let me roll. Raising a it to the ground. Okay. So you've also injured one of your fellow actors. Uh, we are going to be pariahs by badly. association. Okay. I already am. That's fine. Wow, okay, so that happens. I'm not gonna roll initiative yet. This is a quick, like, what are you gonna do in this circumstance? And then we'll see if we need to roll initiative after this. I'm gonna go in the order of the screen just for now. Val, where are you? Where's Zoltana? Uh, where, what does she do when she sees this happen? Okay, so Zoltana has witnessed just everything that's just happened, right? Including um, Jezebel casting a spell. Yes, oh, uh, Jezebel, roll me a d20 real quick, please. I was gonna oh. ask about that, actually. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh. That fell off the desk, hold on. Oh. oh no, I'm not gonna be able to retrieve that. I'm gonna okay. roll a different one and I will get that when it's, when I can take off my headphones, okay. Okay. Eight, um, no problem. Okay, oh. what's Zoltana doing? So Zoltana sees everything that's that's uh, going on, and uh, just goes, "Oh no!" <laughs> Immediate mage armor. 
Nice. Okay. <laughs> that gives you an extra two. That gives me a let me double check your my AC? math. Th that my AC is now um team plus your dex mod. 50, 50, uh, dex mod. Yep. Oh, sorry, fourteen. That's Amazing. Fourteen so pretty low. Let's not talk about it. Um. Okay. <laughs> better than what it was before. <laughs> <laughs> Truth. Do you do you say anything? Get up. Do you approach this thing? Do you do anything like that for now? Yeah. So it's it's still uh, going after. Um, it's still going after um, our performer, right? She's still uh, on the ground at the moment. Yeah, staggered, sort of like down to one knee. I won't say you're prone, but you've definitely unexpected, out of nowhere, clocked with a metal mm -hmm. suit of armor. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I will. Yeah, Zoltana will make, make her way over, because this does not look good to try Great. and help out uh, Jezebel. So you sort of, like, head over towards the stage. Great. Hey, I, uh, think, Bill. I think she'd look uh, 10 feet or 15 feet away and okay. is where she'll stop. Okay. So you sort of, like, run up to where the end of, like, the audience ends, about, like, mm -hmm. 5, 10 feet away from the stage where this is okay. happening. Um, Bill, you're mm. inside. You would not have seen this happen. You would have no, just in the bar. heard... Yeah, inside. Yeah, yeah. Inside at the bar. Yeah. So this is taking place at a big sort of like tavern and inn. And this plays in the back. And you're inside, basically alone, just having a pint mm -hmm. at the bar. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. wouldn't have seen this happen, but you just would have heard a scream. What do you do? Uh, I... Nothing. But, for, yeah, no. Um, nothing immediately. Yeah. Clarify, it's probably like, not a scream so much as just swearing a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, not exactly a wilted flower. Uh, uh no, yeah, I no. Know I, I was gonna say, I know I just went, but is it possible? Can I go out and find and find Bill? Yeah, you'd probably know that Bill's inside. Your pals. I'm at my spot in the yeah. bar. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Um, we don't have to do the scene now. I know you're trying to get through there. Yeah, but, but you can get yeah, it. You I can say you got up and started to like head indoors. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, for sure. I like, yeah. Bill sets his drink down and like looks like we're gonna, we're gonna see if there's any more shrieking okay. that happens. But <laughs> um, no, it doesn't need his attention yet. <laughs> sure. It could have been part of the play. You don't know. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen it. I don't know what happens in that play. Yeah, sure. Um, great. What is MK Skip Hop doing? You were sort of like serving here tonight. You're your custom yep. cocktails. At this point, you're probably standing <laughs> off to the side. You probably don't have a seat, but you're welcome to sort of stand off to the side and watch the show. You know, because you've been around for rehearsals and things mm -hmm. and the previous this shows. This is not. This is now part of the show. Uh, well then, Bill definitely hears another scream. <laughs> And um, I'm going to say that she gets really scared. Great. And probably wild shapes. Oh, amazing. Okay. So just so the audience knows, uh, we've decided because MK is sort of um, a new adventure and also a little had quirky, a, bad, a little quirky, had a bit of a bad experience mm -hmm. on her last adventure is now a kind of uh, on edge, a little anxious. Um, and, Sometimes wild shapes by mistake. It's a bit of an oops, and we've decided to set up a um, table for that. So go ahead and roll your d20. Everybody, yeah. cross your fingers for badger. <laughs> Octopus. I want a badger. Octopus. I want a badger so bad. Octopus is an anomalous, unfortunately. Damn it. Um, and while you do that, Ten. Well, okay, so tell me what that is, but also, we gotta uh, uh, name that character. Yeah, I saw that. Um, oh. And they Zeitgeist. are called Zeitgeist. Blatherhat Jr. the third, the and third. you think I I'm not going to use it, but um, that is right. I love guys. I'm writing this down. Oh, be no. <laughs> oh, well, now no. I have a goal to save my points up for. Blather yeah, you do. Nice. Name my bird. Name my bird. Junior. That you can, if you want to take that. Save up your bird. points and name my bird. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, I want him to. I want him to come up with a name. Right. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you, Plain Aired Allies. Um, thank you for being here so much. Okay. Um, so you are, sorry, what animal did you say? I got panther. You are. Ooh. So, setting the scene, this play is going on. It's almost finished. The big, um, if we creatures have offended um, style monologue, quack, things comes to life. Ah, 
fire comes out of one of the performers' hands, somebody to the side turns into a panther. That happened. Um, cool, this is great. And I feel like I just, like, any empty seats, because I'm sure people start scattering any empty seats, I just kind of, like, pounce on them, oh. and... But I don't, like, growl, I meow. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, that so happens. To witness. Stassi, you are probably Panther also. With an identity I think you said you were just sort of like going through here as part of a tour um, with the other students. Um, mm. Do you think you would have found a seat, or do you think you're just kind of standing off to the side with your pumpkin spice latte and like <laughs> watching, like judgingly? Yeah, the second one was kind of what I had in mind, yeah. just watching over the other students, making sure nothing's going wrong. And the second she sees this, because she's familiar with the play, she takes a sip of her coffee, judgingly, like... <laughs> Make her stay at fall, Stassi. At that very moment, she is going to use her Eldritch uh, invocation feature to cast Mage Armor on herself. Amazing. Uh, and it doesn't use material components, like it doesn't even look like she's cast a spell on herself, except for the fact that her uh, flower crown gets a little bit more fall looking. Ooh. I like it. I like it's a couple it. more like crunchy leaves in there. <laughs> oh, That's yeah. awesome. Okay. So you... And, um, Go ahead. And then she's gonna just kind of like move towards the other students and be like, hey guys, we're just gonna go see something else, so you should go somewhere else now. That's great. So you start hurting some of the students away. Some of these students are like, but is that was that supposed to happen? I think, should we stay? Look at that. Oh my, I think she's really bleeding. Can we stay? Uh, um, at that moment, as she's like, she's also gonna use her fey presence to like leave. Amazing. Roll me, do you get a bonus on that then? Roll me a persuasion check. And they have to make a wisdom saving okay. throw or become charmed or frightened by me. Until oh, amazing, okay. I'm just gonna roll twice. There's gonna be about four students you'll be with. I'll roll for two and two. It's actually anyone in a 10 foot cube of me. Oh. Do you wanna try and affect any audience members that are here? Hear me say leave. Okay, <laughs> let me roll three. We'll say six people are within a 10 foot cube of you. That was a 10. That was a five, and that was a nine. So they all None failed. Of so there is at least six people of the about 50 here that are starting to like, okay, they're out, they're leaving, uh, they're going. You, th all of you, uh, right as soon as this happens, you see a blue dragonborn woman leap forward and basically like dive bomb this thing and and say everybody out this is not supposed to happen what's going on sure get over here you see like a an elven person in sort of a hat very similar to bills actually mm. roll over and start like diving in with his sword everybody else is sort of like shocked like you can see on people's faces terrified um did you can see that this thing, this like metal suit of armor is probably going to be taken care of by these two looking like fairly assertive people. Is there anything you want to do in this moment? I would like to uh, go to Bill and be like, hey, um, so I don't know if you saw that. That was a lot of stuff. Uh, the show looked really good, but I think the end was not a show. So, uh just just here and then i i hand him my uh my drink uh and i'm like i i'm, I'm just gonna I'll, I'll be right back i'll be right back and then i go to the action straight there so you just went to see bill for him to hold your drink <laughs> yes Great. hold my beer hold yes. my beer <laughs> that's amazing it started. Yes. Great. yeah okay <laughs> all, all right by I the take time his, you take start, you, yeah, you're like, great, we're gonna double. Like, I'm not drinking it, but I like put it down and go back to drinking mine. Like, I don't know what the hell that means. <laughs> that sounded like, but honestly, I think that just sounds like nonsense. That's what we're now. There's like barely any in there too. There's like it would be like one great. sip. Will do, yeah. bud. <laughs> um, just for now, just as you're leaving, and just mm -hmm. a second after all of this happens, you all hear a, an explosion. Your best bet, mm, 200, 300 feet away, right in the center of town. Uh, everybody roll me a perception check. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. All right, Val, let's see. Yeah, all, right. <laughs> all right. 
Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay. It'll be a. Uh, oh, it'll and be shout a it out. Go on. Maybe not all at once. That was a bad idea. Yeah, I was like, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go in order. Did anybody order. get. And we'll just do it this way for this one. It's just a basic check. Did anybody get a 15 or up? Two. Only two people? Wow. Okay. Weirdly, Zoltana, you have been to this place a number of times. We talked about this during ses session zero, if anybody missed it. There's no critical information there, but just so you know, there's a city hall in this city where they're at. This city is called Doronia. Um, Zoltana has gone to the city hall a number of times because there's also a bit of a library. There's some interesting artifacts there. You know, you're almost 100% sure that this explosion is coming from the city hall. Um, Jezebel, you also recognize that. You've gotten to know the city a little bit better from hanging out with the other actors and stuff in the play. The rest of you, you just know that there's, it's more towards the center of the city. Now that it's okay. a huge city, it's probably only a 10 minute walk away. Um, <clears throat> This, this uh, thing, this whatever it is that has come to life has now been subdued um, by this elven man and this dragonborn woman. We're going to hold on any like kind of initiative right now because it looks like the immediate threat has been taken care of mm. by these two people. Most of you know that the dragonborn woman is the mayor. Dorna Hearthspun. Is, I have a question. Is that the first time I'm meeting her? No, because remember we no. talked about when you first arrived? Uh, right, you met and her I was son. wondering if I ever found her. I think you did. Yeah. I think I did? Okay, Yeah, it okay. might have taken okay. you a full few days, but like, yeah, yeah. yeah I think that eventually <laughs> but... you would have met Wilson's mom, Jorna. Mm -hmm. Jorna. I have okay, a question great. too. Could I roll, um, what would that be? I guess investigation to see if the suit of armor has a specific insignia on it? Absolutely. Would that be investigation? Yes. You imagine? Okay. Is there anything else anybody wants to do in the immediate? Bill, um, uh, wow. Trigger. Okay, that's a crit. Apparently, this this thing said to me, "We're sorry that you kept failing every single roll last time. So now you get a 19 and a natural 20 in a row. So that's 21 again." Nice. Um, that's actually incredible. Um, give me five seconds because I wasn't expecting a crit on that. <laughs> I want to double check that I say <laughs> the right <laughs> thing. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> and while helps. I double check this, um, everybody mm -hmm. else tell me like kind of what you're doing in this exact moment. At the sound of the explosion, like Bill gets like is like, okay, so the baby was talking nonsense, but I think it might be bad nonsense <laughs> now. <laughs> and like drink down and just like run like heads to the front door and like look looks in down the street or whatever the direction of the sound is from the door of the tavern. So you would, there's a front door and a back door. You can literally come out the back door and you'd be sort of like, almost like right next to where the back of the stage is. So you can come out and immediately see like the hubbub if you want. But the, the explosion came from the other part of town. That's correct, yes. So I'd go, I'd go out the front door okay. and follow that sound. You go out the front do door, go ahead and roll me a perception check. Let's do it again. See if I can get better than a 14 this time. Okay, you do see um, sort of somewhere, your best guess a few hundred feet away, a little bit of smoke um, rising up into the um, sky. Okay. Um, Jezebel, you see on the foot of this thing that has just swacked you, but now has been subdued, uh, uh, a, a slight engraving, and it looks like sort of three, um, like talons in a circle like but that's not outwards. anything that my uh particular lovers like that's not her thing right no okay um you can so only a talons. religion check if you'd like to Ooh, um, okay. recognize what this is sure is that not help in the meantime mm -hmm. hi chat i'm gonna try and chat a bit at break thank you so much for okay out. maybe this is broken because i got another natural 20 plus a one i don't know what's happening <laughs> roll me one more time just to see just for fun to make sure it's not like glitching because i got every natural 20s <laughs> uh, no this time was a okay. nine that's fine so, um okay so you got another 20 my <laughs> god we've done like four rolls and we've already had two nat 20s and a nat one great Shit. it's gonna be that kind of campaign Two nat ones. These are it rolls. My yeah. inch isn't even that good. That's amazing. Okay. You know, and um, I will say to my players, try and this is like I find the hardest thing to do in D D. Try and note that you don't know this. Only Jezebel knows this so far. 
Um, you know, from, you know, you're pretty worldly, you know that this is the symbol of Tiamat. Um, that. Which is very strange. And with that nat 20, I'll remind you that this is not a particularly religious continent at all. Tiamat to you is a god that people worshipped hundreds of years ago or worship in other lands. This is incredibly uncommon. Um, yes. Uh, Bill, you see a little smoke rising from the sky. Fresnel, after you drop off your drink and you leave, all of a sudden, uh, shabloom, what yeah. do you do? I go, I go straight there, uh, oh. to, uh, Jorna. Uh, even though they've already subdued, like, great accident. I'm here, I, oh. <laughs> so you She's just start like, running uh, downtown? Yeah, uh, no, I, I run towards the stage where the, okay. uh, where Jorna is taking care of the, the suit of armor. Okay, amazing. Um, and I'm like, oh, uh, uh hi, hi, Mayor. Um, For you, now. you have it under control. I, I, it just, I, I thought maybe, maybe somebody could, needed some help. Yeah, um, look, I don't know what to do with this thing. I think we've, I, I think it's whatever power it was under, we've subdued it now. I need to get back. That sounded like it came from City Hall. Um, can you, for now, can you focus for a second? I need your help. Well, well, I, I, I don't, I, well, I, I, I really, I just, I mean, it wasn't for that now? loud of a fart, but I, I thought, I thought it was, yeah, uh-huh. For now, son, I'm gonna need you to do me a favor. Can you mm -hmm. go to my house, you know where that <clears throat> is, and make sure Wilson's okay? That's the big building, right? No, my house, the one behind it. The one behind the big building? My home, yes. You know where Wilson lives? You hang out with him all the time. Yeah, but like, it takes a while for me to get there. And even though I'm there, I don't really know that that's the place. Uh, it just looks so big. I, I, I again, I'm not. For now, <laughs> answer new. me this. Do you know how to go uh -huh. to Wilson's house? Yeah. Go there now and see if he's okay. Okay. Thank uh, you. I, I can do that. No, do no problem. Really I'll see ya. And then I, I run. Yeah. Uh, do you say that out loud? Yeah, I was. So I'll just be laying on the floor like, do you want me to go and babysit him? Uh, Je Jezebel. It's Jezebel, right? Yeah. I would really appreciate that. My son Wilson lives in my ha my home, yeah. which is right behind City yeah. Hall. I need to go in to the hall and see what the heck that was. If you two could go to together, I'd very much appreciate that. Thank you. You want us to watch him there? or Just bring make him sure home? he's okay and then bring him over to City Hall if okay. there's not too much chaos. I'm Sheriff Shore, can you take care of this area? Yes, ma'am. Uh, and you see Dorna bolt. Um, and you see, you all notice now, you look over, the other elven man who had sort of like clobbered this thing um, appears to be the sheriff. Um, mm -hmm. Sheriff Shore. Sure. Um, so you two Heard start any going. of that uh, conversation? Would you have approached the stage at all? As in your panther form, you said in the audience. Because I would have, I, I would know the mayor too, right? Mm -hmm. I would, I probably would have, I'm sure she knows I randomly wild shape into stuff. Yeah. So I would probably just be like, what do you need? Are you in panther so form? So if I heard that, I would kind of motion for one of them to like get on my back so we can get there quicker. Amazing. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, for now, oh, not be able to get yeah. on your back because he's a huge nice. Earth genasi. <laughs> no. Rock man. All, yeah. Not <laughs> smart. But if like Jezebel wants to like hop on, it, yeah. because my speed is fifty feet. Then. Yeah. All right. right I'll I'm hop just, on. Okay. Um, the three of you start. Oh, look at a little raid coming in. Oh my God, so hey. exciting. Hey. Hi, Roll for Revelry and friends. What's up? Um, hello, hello. I have a question. Yes. I have a question. Was Zoltana not also at the stage? Didn't you approach the stage? Yes. I did approach the stage. Um, I don't think she would have uh, volunteered herself immediately. <laughs> I think she would have taken a bit of time because I feel, I feel like she would have understood that the the um, suit of armor can't come to life on its own, so it has to be by magical means. So she is observing if there's anybody in the immediate vicinity that's behaving strangely or has begun to pull away now that the uh, suit of armor has uh, stopped moving. Amazing! I'm gonna have you do an insight check, um, Stasi. You have, I'm going to say you've walked maybe about 20, 30 feet away at this point. 
to sort of lead everybody away. Um, you can keep leading people away. You or you you can come back and sort of find out what's happening. Up to you, like whatever. What what are you doing right now? I would almost say that that Stasi is going to kind of check back in to make sure no one else is still straggling behind. Um, and so maybe have caught like the tail end of the conversation of hey, you guys should go check on the kid. Great. Um, do you want to follow or do you want to stay? I, uh, I would say most of the people, Sheriff Shore has now like gotten to sheriff action and is like, everybody clear the premises, nothing to see here, go home, we'll update you in the morning, everybody just go home. So you see, actually, I will say Zoltana, and I'll get that mm -hmm. check in a second. Everyone's starting to, yeah. everyone's kind of starting to leave, so just to give you a heads up on that. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry, Stasi, what do you do then? Uh, she's gonna join the group because she's curious about the fact there is a panther and then an earth genasi and <laughs> just like, what's going on here? I'm nosy. <laughs> what are <laughs> this? <laughs> so basically, uh, can I, can, go ahead. Yeah. Do I, do I recognize, uh, MK Skip Hop? At uh, least from the drink. You, no, no, I picked up the drink. You picked off up the, the drink. You may have, know, like, from day. being in and out But of I town. do remember when the play ended, you and me were next to each other clapping. We so. were. We were. Okay. I do remember that. Okay. <clears throat> and I'll, I'll just see you. I, I, so I'll just see you, like, walk up next to me as I'm walking towards uh, uh, the big building, City Hall. I'm like, oh, uh, are you going to check out the, the explosion thing, too? Meow. <laughs> okay yeah. all right yeah um, we're coming on your field trip darling <laughs> oh hi uh, oh you are amazing are you okay <laughs> i've handled worse licks than that uh glad you enjoyed the show so we're yeah, going to find your little never friend seen anything but... like it oh oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, city hall Do you know behind how to get city hall i heard yeah i know how to get oh, there right right yeah um yeah steed <laughs> Cool. Um, yeah. What are you saying to urge a panther on? on? Although, like in panther form, I still mm. have like probably my like. I have a hat on. I don't have a hat, but I have like my little like cloak. The little, probably the shovels mm. on the back. Yeah, I still have all my stuff, but I'm just like it's kind of cute panther. <laughs> Amazing. Um. Okay. So everybody's heading out towards city hall yeah. it'll take you between 10 and 15 minutes to get there uh, we just got advantage from the chat kev bot hi uh, <laughs> oh no who is that for uh, i think oh, Fernell is getting the first advantage all right because... this Fernell feels like he might need it at some point <laughs> um, by the way uh my check was 18. Yeah. yes Ooh. okay on an 18 insight you scan the crowd people look dumbfounded they don't know what to do with themselves everybody like for the most part i'd say 70 percent of people right away were ready to run the other 30 percent were just sort of like glued to their seats or to the ground just like they've never seen something like this in their lives this is shocking to these people um scared you don't see anybody um that looks pleased about this or is trying to like slink away or anything like mm -hmm. that you just notice that everybody is uh, like appalled um bill you just sort of like step out the front door of the bar you saw this smoke rising you see this motley crew of people including Fresnel and a panther um sort of start like walking by you like you know jogging by you <laughs> in the direction of the smoke uh what do you want to do I'm concerned. Bill is concerned. <laughs> I can imagine um, uh, Zoltana. <laughs> she's, she's lagging behind a little bit. She's stepping up and she sees Bill and she goes, oh, Hello, Mr. Bill. I'm, I'm, I'm joining them. <laughs> just skips with the <laughs> Do I pass by Bill? Yeah, yeah. everybody runs fast. Hey, Zoltana. Bill. <laughs> I'm going to go check up on the behind of the city hall. I'm worried about you, son. <laughs> they don't have to be. Do you still have my drink? No, that drink was shit. I threw it away. It was yeah. really good. Why'd you do that? Come on, Bill. Live a little. Have some adventure with us. Oh, God. Bill sighs and 
follows, but is not with that. Like, I'm gonna, I'm, I, he, it's like a chaperone <laughs> style. Come on, kiddo. <laughs> you you are the, the chaperone of a chaotic, stupid field trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bill is the chaperone at the dance who's just standing at the, at the, the door watching. <laughs> so all of you sort of go. start, start off towards City Hall. It's going to take you about 10 minutes to get there at a, like a bit of a jog. Most of you have not really met each other. I think over the last mm. few months, as you all have sort of staggered into town, you might have crossed each other's paths once or twice. Uh, for Nell and Bill, it seems like you've got a, a little friendship, semi-friendship going on. Um, the rest of you might not have met each other too much. I feel like maybe Stassi and MK might have met each other um, because of MK working at the Merry Moor, and you might have been there a handful of times to get cocktails or coffee. Um, but otherwise, I don't think you will have met. Is there anything you want to do in this sort of 10 minute jog to City Hall area? There have been any chance that Stasi would have seen Zoltana like on campus before everything had happened? That, so to the point that Zoltana might look a little familiar to Stasi. I don't know if Zoltana would have um, been on campus. She had sort of a bad time at the original Amos Adventure Academy and maybe staying away from its uh, satellite here in Deronia. I'm not sure that's yeah. up to you, Zoltana. I mean, um, at the original I'm... Academy, like, would they have ever, like, seen each other, like, in passing oh. during classes? Ooh. It's possible you would have been, you know, in the gra graduating class and she would have been in sort of the, like, freshman class. But you, you might have seen each other. It's possible. Uh, both you... of you roll me... Um, no, let's do this. Zoltana, just for fun. Roll me a d20. If it's, Lest uh, we forget that Zoltana is, se like, pushing seven feet tall. Totally. So you would have, yeah, <laughs> yeah. you would have been noticeable, yeah. but if you roll over a ten, uh, you and Stassi would have crossed paths. If not, you would not have. I rolled an eleven. Okay. Ooh. So yes, you would have uh, seen each other around at the original Amos Adventure Academy over in Draconia. Cool. Also, I think Bill would have clocked Zoltana in town. Yeah, yeah I think I think Zoltana has. I, I believe in session zero we established that uh, Zoltana went to Bill to talk about booking a cottage and things like that. How it's living outside of town, things, a mm -hmm. lot of logistical things. Mm -hmm. um, she, I would imagine their interactions to be very, very cordial and very, very polite because that's just how Zoltana is with mm -hmm. figures of authority. I feel like Zoltana and Bill would have this like comfortable silence between them, like yes. just like not talkers. Maybe neither of them are talkers, and that's okay. Game recognized yeah. game. Yeah, exactly. That's cute. Okay, so you would have had discussions. You would have like clocked Saucy. Don't imagine would have been friends or anything, but would have clocked no. each other. <laughs> I, I would imagine that it is definitely not... I think it's obvious to anybody who is paying attention, like, is bothering to pay attention that Zoltana has been keeping a wide berth away from the um, academy. And I imagine that if Stasi was walking on one side of the road, and if uh, Zoltana clocks her, just kind of immediately goes like, like, not unlike Pink Panther, but just goes newspaper to obscure her face. <laughs> 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 it's, it's just a book. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, great. So you all, uh, I think Jezebel might have like sort of, eh, she's a bit of a woman about town, right? Might have like mm -hmm. sort of. I know I met her when I first yeah. met her. Yeah. And I think we said me and Bill would have kind of known each other for being in the same area. That's why I kept calling him kid because I'm technically older than him, but you can't tell. Yeah. Mm. From from Arbor, and that's right. Yeah, you're yeah. from the same town for sure. So there's like a little bit of recognition, but right now, this is the first time for sure that the six of you have been in proximity to each other. Um, is there anything you want to say to each other? Is this sort of one of those awkwards, we're all going to the same place, I guess, mm -hmm. but we don't have much to say to each other. <laughs> so who's into explosions here? Because I love myself a good explosion, but I did not set that one, I can promise you that. I mean, I have an alibi, I was on stage the whole time. Well, I mean, I I thought it was a part of the show. To be honest, I thought it was me at first. My stomach was really upset when I walked the, in, and so I just thought it was me. But uh, then the mayor said it was something else. So the explosion at City Hall? That's a different building on the other side of town. Well, you thought well, that was caused by rumble. you? Well, the rumble and and oh, I thought, oh okay. Yeah, it, I can get some. I have. Uh, it, it's a problem it, we could talk about that later uh i i don't i this is my first explosion uh first time so well, you have not been living enough then darling 
is, it, is that supposed to are, aren't explosions like bad are they a bad thing typically they on your morality i think a good explosion can really liven up a party Depends on you the explosion. I... You know, sometimes there's explosions from things like pyrotechnics, and those were kind of cool. So exactly. maybe just something like that. Pyro, huh? Fireworks? Uh, yeah. Sparkling lights in the sky that go boom? Is that like a spell? That sounds really cool, but uh, yes. I've, I've not something I'm familiar with. Well, you just hatched out of the egg yesterday, keep didn't you? Going. <laughs> I feel like not... as a panther. I'm like, I, I feel the awkwardness, so I just start going faster. <laughs> I'll be like, hey, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Takes off with Gem on your back. I like yep. that. <laughs> Speed. Hold on, let me see this. What even is my speed? 30 feet? Because <laughs> my feet is 50 <laughs> feet, and I even have a climb speed, so if we need. Okay, so this is, a, this is the look of buildings. the group. <laughs> Awkward conversation. <laughs> Panther yeah. bolts forward with Jem on their yeah. back. I like a f- ten feet behind. Zeltana is like really tall and probably for now booting yeah. along next to each oh, other, yeah. just like tall people mm-hmm. looking at each other, like okay. And then behind them, Stasi like <laughs> they're like, oh, what did we call it? <laughs> We made up a name for Starbucks. Whatever. Oh, uh, oh Twinkle, Twinkle something. Right. Twinkle. It was Twinkle Bucks. Twinkle Bucks. Twinkle Bucks. Twinkle Bucks. Twinkle Bucks. Right. With your Twinkle Bucks cup running behind, and then another oh like gosh. few minutes behind that, Bill just like clomping oh. along. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm-hmm. Um, eventually, if there's nothing else you want to do in the road, you all get to um, City Hall, and more importantly, another sort of like few minutes behind that, like it's like one of these things where there's like the mayor's house, you know, sort of like, you know, a few minutes walk behind City Hall. Um, Mm -hmm. You arrive, City Hall is chaos. There's a bunch of people yelling, running around, and there's smoke coming from the rooftop. Um, What do you want to do? You were tasked to go check out the mayor's house, but you can do whatever the heck you want to do. Uh, what do y'all want to do? Um, I just walk into, because we're behind the city hall, and the mayor's house is like one of the first houses right behind mm-hmm. it, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'll walk up to the door, uh, of the house and just knock on it. Um, and what's the, what's the kid's name? Wilson? Wilson. 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 I'll be like, hey, w- Wilson, it, it's for now. And all, like, immediately, as if he was, like, standing at the, like, front door, the door oh. opens. Oh my God! For now, for now, did you see what happened? Hey. It was like something well, exploded. Well, I, I didn't see what happened, but I know it's 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 a big deal. Are are you okay though? It seems like it's dangerous. Somebody's throwing like some magical uh, uh, spell in the sky uh, called pyrotechnics, and oh. and I'm just trying to make sure that you're okay. Wait, you think that that was a spell? You think somebody was doing magic in City Hall? You're not well, supposed to do, do that. Well, I don't do magic, and so I, I, and I mean, I thought the explosion was my stomach, and so I, I mean, I, I bear, I just want to make sure that you're okay. Mayor told me that she, she just want to make sure that you were fine. <sighs> Mom, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Do you want to come inside? Who are? You? Uh, sure. Uh, oh, oh like... uh, these are other people who wanted to check in on you. Uh, just make sure uh, that you're okay. All right, all right? Darwin, Uh, we don't know what the explosion is. It's probably not pyrotechnics. I mostly came along to make sure this one got into your house without getting distracted by a moth or something. But since y'all are here, stay inside. Your mom will be along. I'm going to go look at the explosion. Well, I don't think I'd get distracted by a moth. I mean, I hey, like a pretty looking butterfly is a pretty looking butterfly. But a moth, I think that's a bit extreme. Okay. I just, I just, okay. I appreciate the help. Me and Jezebel start running towards them. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks for the help. Cheers, uh, glad you liked the show. I'll give you an autograph another day. Uh, What's that? Okay, <laughs> and she's gone. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, so how are you doing? I, I walk inside and with Wilson. So, okay. So, so what? how are you doing? What happened? Like, I don't, where were you? I don't know. I was inside. I didn't want to see that stupid play again. Um, so well, It was pretty good. I guess. I've That's seen it like drink. 12 times. Um, so really? mom said I could just stay home. Yeah, they do it like almost every summer. Um, it's like the book and the, the thing. I don't know. I just don't care anymore. I get it. Elves. It's the fall. Seems pretty cool. Um, well, I mean, well, I just, I'm, I'm glad that you're okay, but I mean, I, I'd be, I'd imagine that your mom's worried sick. 
yeah, I mean, like, whatever. I'm pretty tough and I'm fine. I just, I don't know if I, do you think we should go there and check it out? Whoa, 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 hold on. I, um, If Bill I arrives think... any time at this point, I, no, no, you shouldn't, no, you should not go. <laughs> Hey, oh, uh, uh, Wilson, this is Bill. Bill, Wilson, oh, uh, hi. Mayor's mom. Hi, I mean, uh, mom's mayor. I mean, uh, not the mayor. Uh, the mom. This is Honey, the... Hi, son, I know mom. who the mayor is. It's fine. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, and this um, is my friend, Will. Uh, Bill. Yeah, hi, Mr. Bill. I think we've met. Um, okay, oh, well, cool. I I'll stay inside. I don't really want to go near any explosions, so I'm fine. If you want to stay, I can um, make you some tea or something. Well, uh, okay, here. Um, uh, can, uh, let me talk to Bill for just just a second, just oh. quick sec, Will. Okay. Okay. Uh, hey, Bill. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Uh, so the other two people, I don't know if you saw them. They came up with me. There's like a panther too, but mm -hmm. that was pretty cool. Like somebody was riding mm -hmm. on their back. It was, it was it was pretty cool. Uh, I haven't seen a panther like that big. Uh, but uh, that's that's besides the point. Uh, they, they went to the explosion, and I kind of want to check it out, but I don't know if you want to. But Will should should stay safe. And I don't want him to come to the explosion. It might be dangerous. So could you? I mean, that's the smartest thing I've heard you say. Okay. Um. Thanks. Well, but, but seriously, I, I just, I, I don't want to let Mayor down, and so I, I hope that you can. Can you watch over Wilson? Are you, are you asking me to babysit the child? <laughs> if Fine. you don't mind. Fine. Go on. Okay. Okay, get. Cool, cool. Get. Wilson, hey, I'm going to go and and check up on on like the whole thing. I'll come back and tell you how it went. And you just you just Bill's gonna gonna tell you some cool stories. And uh, I, I hear that he's a big fan of bees. So you just I hear I, you guys probably have a lot to talk about. I will be right back. You stay safe. Thanks uh, a lot, Bill. You can get Bill, to I, me I, that tea. I, I really appreciate and everything, but like I'm 16 years old and I can just stay here. I have no. Yeah, real well, I'm 19. I mean, 22. I'm I'm 22. And uh, and I uh, and I know better because I'm an adult. <laughs> you should stay here. Okay, I'll just stay here. Sorry, that was kind of mean, uh, but I gotta go. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Just... <laughs> uh, Zatanna is bewildered by whatever just happened. Wait, were you there the and... whole time? <laughs> yeah, she has fun oh, I, I did not there. pay any attention to you. Oh, <laughs> I mean, it's fine. For book, for book, tend to be really easy to miss. I think it's part of their, their thing. Uh, but she's just there, like, she isn't in entirely certain if she finds Fernell's dumb foundry to be endearing or infuriating yet. Um, <laughs> um, but she's just sitting there, she's like, Right, um, Wilson, I, I know this is very overwhelming. Did you see anybody walk over here when, when the play was about to start or when, when it would be going on? Uh, no, I didn't see anything. I was reading, and, um, all of a sudden there was an explosion. I looked out the window, and I just saw smoke, and then, um, I didn't want to go outside because that seemed scary. Good instincts. That was very good instincts, and I think you should, you should keep to it. Thanks. If this, if, if this is truly magical, then I should... Zaltana in her mind pictures how everyone else has been handling this situation and go and just kind of sighs really loudly. I, ha I have to go and make sure everything's all right. You'll be okay in here with Mr. Bill, yes? Yeah, again, 16 years old. I don't need a babysitter. No offense, Mr. Bill. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, your mom's very scary and I do not want... <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I mean, she, she she's not wrong. Your mom is very scary. Yeah. And there is a chance that what's going on out there is also truly, uh, truly scary and upsetting. And do you promise that you won't leave the house? Yeah, I really have no interest in going towards danger. Who would do Good. that? Follow those yeah. instincts. And now I'm going to leave you because I don't particularly feel like babysitting a 16 year old. Thanks. Okay. You're welcome. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> See ya. That As you so leave, awkward. you hear like the lot, the latch, like the door lock, and you see like. Follow those kind of... instincts. Keep the door locked. This is not. Oh, you get rested. <laughs> I would say the very second that Stasi gets like within close enough range of Zoltana, with all the bewilder bewilderment that's going on and like everyone kind of breaking off and the recognition of I know this person, she's just like, hey girl, where do I know you from? You look really familiar. 
um, nowhere. Um, I, I, I believe this is the first time we've met through this entire, um, bill oh, no, I think I've definitely seen you around town. Do you, like, hang out at the coffee shop? I feel like I've definitely seen you. Coffee, coffee makes me anxious. I try not to drink it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just need to stay away from like the light roast because those have a lot more caffeine and then you know if you do like a decaf it can be really good especially if you add some pumps it's just the best thing ever Sultana sees the drink <laughs> in her hand and... I'll, I'll be sure to try it then um there's a this building on fire this kind of a whole law right like what do you think's going on over there I mean I don't think city hall is usually supposed to be on fire or like smoking or whatever is going on probably Nothing a problem good. right Nothing good, but there are valuable things in this in this building. I wouldn't be surprised if folks were into vandalizing it or or, or, or taking it. Um. No, no, everyone in this this area is like super nice, like super nice, like super nice. Oh, that wouldn't make sense. <laughs> it's true. Everyone here is super nice. Super nice. Super nice. nice. I mean, this is what their like true, motto but... is. We're super nice. Super nice. Super Welcome super nice. to Doronia. We're super nice. <laughs> we so sure scary. Like a really cool. I'm telling you, it's, it's Minnesota. <laughs> Literally, they have it's Minnesota nice. It's a thing. Yeah. Oh my God. Wow. It's just passive aggression. Don't worry. <laughs> if it was someone that was trying to steal something, it would probably be someone that's not from town. That would be my guess. I think you're super nice. I'm assuming they're walking towards the building while this is happening. Oh yeah, 100. Um, and I just kind of like, I, I mean, um, w with the festival happening, I think yes, the most logical logical conclusion is that there would be outsiders here, and if there are outsiders here, they might not be as nice and respectful <clears throat> to government property. You all, uh, you know, from one manner or another, arrive at City Hall. There's a handful of people here, but not as many as you suspect. It, it feels like in a lot of other places you, you've been, um, if something happens, it's like rubbernecking, you know, people come and they want to see what's going on. Weirdly mm -hmm. here, it feels like there's not a lot of people. People are staying away from whatever this chaos is. Uh, the mayor has arrived here a few minutes before you and is sort of like barking orders. Um, just like, James, go around back, secure the building, make sure no one got in from any other area. Um, Sarah, go up to the roof, just stand next to the hole, I don't know, for now, just wait. Let me talk to the guards and see what they saw on the inside. Um, just everybody, make sure nobody comes close, we're gonna check the scene. Um, you, Gerald, go back and see if Sheriff Shore has everything handled and see if he can get over here, I need his help. Um, and she's just sort of barking orders at the few people that are around here that seem to have some sort of authority over people. Otherwise, there's not a lot of people around. I, um, once I get there, I immediately go to the mayor and just like, Hey, uh, Wilson's okay. I left, oh. I, I, I left him with Bill, uh, just to make sure that, you know, he's safe and everything. Uh, could you let me in on some insight about what's going on around here? Um... For now, I don't know that any of this is your business. I'm very happy that I thank you so much for checking on Wilson. That's a huge relief. Um, this is city business. I really don't even think you should be here right now. Why don't you go find uh, Bill and, and go back and, and have him bring well, you back to um, his tent um, and just- I, mean, I, can, I can help out and I pull out my great axe. Like, I'm, I'm pretty good with this. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need you to put that away, young man. What? Why? But I, I do this for a living? Okay, fine. So he's got a just... point. Like, if you use great axes to, like, ch chop things in half, it can help put fires out. Have you ever seen that? It's kind of cool. As he says I haven't seen up that, but I would like to try. And I say that to the mayor. <laughs> Like, um, I like to try. Look, look, the two of you, I don't know why you're here. I just need you to stay out of the way. We are trying to figure out what happened mm -hmm. here. And I don't need a couple of kids running around and, and ruining the investigation. Um, Hold on, I'm, I'm an adult. I'm 22. I'm like 64. I don't think... What do you mean? I'm not a kid. Um, well, I'm older you than really you are. And I agree with fight and fire with fire. I can... Make my daggers fiery. When she says kids, I growl. <gasps> oh my goodness, druids. Okay, look. I'm just like, yeah, and like, it's, it seems like a... Whoa. 
Sorry, you were a panther. It. You were a panther. How are you not a panther? Look. You're a person. Can okay. I jump off your shoulders, or am I just like on yeah. your shoulders? I'm, I'm now. <laughs> I'm back to me. I'm literally a half leg now. So okay, that's good, right? <clears throat> Look, I, 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 I'll admit I could use a few magic users, but I need you all to stay calm, listen to my direction, and don't go running around or do anything without my orders. Is that agreed? That's agreeable, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I am a magic Thank user. Her. That makes sense. Sure. I mean, I was a member of Beta Alpha uh, Kappa Yoda Sigma, so, like, you know, it makes sense to follow people. Yeah. Look, I don't know much about this Amos Academy. Other than that, there's a lot of intelligent and capable people that come out of that school, and I hope that you were one of them. Bill. Mm. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna Bill. need you to help me take responsible responsibility for these children. Yes, I know I'm not referring to the two of you. Sometimes I forget about the ages of elves. I appreciate that you're not children. No, that that felt pretty apt. <laughs> I'm not um, a child, William. William? No, I'm pretty young. Yeah. How are you? Are you, I, are you asking me my age? Oh crap! I'm 19. I mean. Oh, I get it. I'm 22. Yep, I'm 22 also. <laughs> Zatana, Zatana much under Bill. her breath. Like, what a liar. I'm truly 22, but. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's three of us. In ages, that's probably be about what you would consider me if I was like a human. Whatever. Are we all 22? No. I did not reveal my age, but I can assure you it is not 22. It's closer I, to 200. Shut up. <laughs> oh, wow. I go, I go back to the mayor, like, really close, and I, I sheathe my great eyes, like, hey, look, I, like, I know I'm new, um, and, I, like, all I want to do is just try and help out any way that I can. Is there, like, a small job, or maybe I can help with making sure that people are safe in just the roads, in the streets, or something, uh, Yes. If I you don't want that's... me fighting the bit monster, if there is one, or whatever threat there is monster? in the city hall, is there a monster? Monster? Or who? Who said monster? Hey, everybody needs well, to I... stay calm. For well, now. I, know. I didn't. I didn't say monster. I was just saying if there was just a monster, monster. I mean, I just yeah. If there was one, I, 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 you. I'm sure you. You guys seem like pretty capable. Like I, like way stronger than me. But if you needed some extra muscle, I can help. I appreciate that. But it seems that like you don't now. want that, so I can help other ways. I'm going to need you to keep guard if you can do that. I need to question our guards on the inside. <coughs> I think they're a little shaken up by what just happened, and I just need you to keep your eyes peeled. You've been around here for a few months now. You have an idea of who lives around here and who's been around here. If you see anybody that looks suspicious, I need you to not injure them. I need you to bring them in, physically if possible, just maybe take a lap, take a lap around and let me know if you see anything unusual and bring me anybody who's doing anything suspicious. Is that clear? Uh, yeah, 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 I can, I, I can do that. Thank you. You sure you don't need your muscle for the, the whatever cost this whole Thing. I will. It. Right now, what I need is less footprints inside and less people disturbing the scene. I appreciate your help. Would any other of you, kind of like looks at the six of you, like I can't believe I'm asking these people for help, um, like to accompany for now? I wouldn't mind a bit of a perimeter right now. Yeah, Bill no. takes out his longbow and like shrugs. Thank you, Bill. I appreciate. Um, so the two of you, I'm going to give you some checks and stuff in a minute, but you're basically going to like walk around. Um, you can tell me where you want to go. The, um, shall we bring up a little map just to see what the yeah. map yeah. looks like? Yeah. It's been an hour and 10 minutes and we haven't seen a map. I was getting thirsty. <laughs> Yo, okay, 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 okay. Let me, let me, let me, oh gosh, oh let me give me like five seconds. Speaking to bring of thirsty, up the hydration proper. break, everyone go. Yes. Map. Oh um, hydration. 
this will be perfect timing because what I'll do is I'll bring up, I just need to change which map we're on here because I wouldn't sure where we were going to end up first. I'm getting water while you get this map. Perfect. Mm. Yeah, no problem. Okay, I'm bringing it up in just a second. Uh, let's go to the map screen. Da, 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 and hope that it's like, oh, oh, it didn't work. I feel like I'm, <laughs> I'm now like uh, Fernell's like shadow. I just kind of like. Walk I have put you. you folks. I just need to bring it up on screen here. Um, roll 20, mm. please, to come on screen now. Uh oh, oh, why is it not coming in screen? You all should be able to see it in the roll 20. That's sort of mm -hmm. what the. I um, see roll 20, yeah. The city hall looks like. I don't know why I can't. Um, I don't know if my roll 20 is working. Right yet. now. Um, <laughs> there we go there we go okay so that is the the sort of the look of city hall um mm -hmm. it's sort of a relatively flat building with a couple like rooms on either side in the Val center is missing i see oh yeah i forgot to take away the v back soon sign Hello. oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> let me hide that give me a second <laughs> and you're back. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. That's I needed to hydrate. <laughs> okay, so yeah, and we'll take a break in just a few minutes after we sort of establish what we're all doing here at City Hall. So that's sort of yeah. what it looks like. You can see okay. in the roof, there has been an explosion. That's okay. all you can see right now from the outside. I'm going to have the two of you um, uh, do a bit of a perimeter. You can start that now, um, at giving me some perception checks. But in the meantime, I'm trying to get this centered, and it doesn't want to center for some reason, but that's fine. Um, the other folks, what do you offer to do, if anything, here? I am following uh, Pharrell. For, you're following Pharrell like as well? Yeah, okay. as is like shadow. So at the, the three of you are going to do outside perimeter. Um, you can go ahead and roll me a perception check as well. Oh, um, okay. I rolled a nat twenty. No, Hell you yeah. didn't. Yeah, I, did. I was on on D and D Beyond too. Right. I got That's proof. Well Amazing. Well I rolled a nine. You have okay. advantage, by the way, if you want. Yeah, to. Oh yeah, you do. Somebody you gifted what? you advantage. So if you want to take it out, but you can do an advantage. You can hang on to it because I mean, Bill did get a nat twenty, but up to you. Bill sees okay, uh, all. well, Bill, you're with me. Yeah. yeah. So I'm with, I'm with, I'm with, I'm with Bill and uh, MK. MK. And MK. I have and the one. Is it just us three? Yeah, for now, so. going oh, around okay, the outside. Okay, okay, okay. We'll find okay, out what okay. the other three are doing in just a second. Um, awesome. Oh my god, Amazing. the third nat 20. Um, yeah. MK, what do you roll? 18. Okay, okay, okay. So between the two of you, but Bill sort of leading this, I think maybe you're like still unused to this panther form, so you're getting a little bit. Oh, I'm not panther it. yet. Yeah, she's I'm back. Out now. Oh, you pop back? Okay, great. Yeah. So you're, you're all kind of looking around. You go around the outside mm -hmm. of the building. You notice that um, there are no fresh footprints around here. Um, you like surprisingly very few with a nat 20 you can tell that there's no footprints around here um except for like the mayors and two or three others near the front door coming in and out it looks like the mayor has been very careful to make sure that nobody is messing with the crime scene as soon as she got here she ordered everybody out you know that there also would have been like nobody around here at this hour it's you know nine o'clock at night after the play nobody would have been in city hall except for maybe a couple guards um you do notice with the nat 20 there is a ladder um discarded sort of in the front in the those front sort of like awnings that looks like a bit of a storage space there's all kinds of stuff there like the stuff for the landscaping and whatever there is a ladder there um but you don't actually uh see any footprints coming to or from what would have been a ladder weirdly hmm. um what are the three of you doing um well i know for an l first okay. is gonna talk to mk and just be like okay okay so you, you, you gotta tell me how did mm -hmm. you do the panther thing you you're like not a panther but you were a panther oh that's hard to explain well my dad can do it too but when i get really scared i just kind of <laughs> You just, you just turn into a panther? 
Mm-hmm. I can do That's all kinds really of animals. really cool. I just don't really have control over it, so it's sometimes a little inconvenient. Oh, wow. That's understandable. Um, that, that, that's also like really, really cool. I, I've never seen something like that's that before. Cool. Yeah. Um, I'm a uh, friend. You look like stone. I do look like stone. Yeah. <laughs> um, I realize you guys don't have a lot of people who look like me around here. Mm -mm. Uh, Earth Genasi. You're also really tall. I am. You're not as tall, but that's okay. It's, it's okay. not, that's not a, that's not like a bad thing. I, I haven't, I know a lot of not as tall people. Uh, I just happen to be one of the taller ones in my fam. Fam, I um, yeah, er, er, I'm an Earth Genasi. It's a thing. Oh. Sing. I've never met one. Like ever? No. Weird. We're gonna pop to the other three who aren't on this sort of like uh, walking around uh, doing the perimeter okay. thing. What the, what do the three of you want to do? Madam Mayor. I know several things in life. I know about fire, I know about explosions, and I know how to put on a show. So, I would like to examine the uh, scene of the crime, if you will, to see what exactly caused it, and perhaps what they were planning. Obviously, the uh, suit of armor that dared to mar my beautiful face, my moneymaker, if you will, was a distraction to get y'all over here, for the few that weren't watching my fantastic performance but i still think uh we may want to look at that i'm also curious as to what was stolen i imagine from your reaction that something was yes something was stolen you you see that she sort of is hesitant to say that but there's really nobody around um and she says look nobody disturb the inside door whatsoever in fact my two guards heard nothing until the explosion the two guards outside the stone door the only way these people got in and out are through the roof do you want to go there or do you want to check out the the doors so the doors were exploded but they came in through the roof is the that right were not exploded okay only the roof was exploded then i want to look at the roof i want to see where the explosion is Fine. was i suppose we can do that. Um, Stasi and Zoltana, uh, do you well, want to I, accompany I, onto the roof or do you want to go inside um, City Hall? Do we hear the conversation between Jezebel and the mayor, Madam Mayor? If you mayor? want to, yeah. Yeah, I think hearing that, like Zoltana's head, because she has gone to City Hall to look at all, and as far as she's concerned, there's several things of great value there, so she's not sure what has been taken. So she kind of like leans in a little closer, hunches herself a little bit. She goes, "My my my expertise mostly lies in in the study of the arcane and the uh, detection of the of the arcane influences. If if what you say is true, that these whoever is responsible got in, and the only detection of them was through an explosion, a huge explosion. There might be some other more subtle arcane work." that went behind this because I I've been here a few times and it feels like the city hall is adequately guarded that seems to be the only logical explanation yes it's the only place in town that is guarded uh, Zoltana I know we've met a handful of times um I'm sorry I have to ask you say that you know about the arcane arts may I ask where you were trained I was trained at Amos Academy oh interesting I had no idea why didn't you tell me well, I, uh, I don't particularly like making myself known. <laughs> I, I like keeping to myself. Interesting. Oh, did come you on, know, Did you know that we have a sat- Now's not the time. Oh, all right. I mean, if you came from Amos, I know, like I said, very intelligent, capable people come out of that school. I have not a lot of choice, but to trust you. I, I saw you all at the play, so I know it wasn't you. Uh, fine we can we can go onto the roof if you like um we'll have to just climb a ladder up there there's no other um, entrance is there... there is a chimney i don't what about the specific place where so um remind me again mayor so there is an explosion up onto the roof but there's also the area in which the object whatever object it is was taken could i be taken there perhaps just to see how they even got in without the guards knowing. I can take you in the vault, but we'll have to go 
together. There, yeah. there are a lot of magical things blocking the vault, and I am only one of three people who have access um, to that vault. And it, it, it appears that nothing on the outside door, like I said, nothing but the roof, has been disturbed. We can go up to the roof. The other two people who have entrance to the vault. Ah. Um, I don't know if I feel comfortable telling you right now. I'm sure you understand. Hmm. It feels like a precarious time to be telling these sort of things. I'm sure you can understand why something like this has never happened here. Certainly not under my watch, and I'm I'm not sure who to trust. Well, it's already happened, so. Yes, but who knows what's to happen next. No, you can come with me. We can enter the vault, or we can go up to the roof and, and examine the entrance from that point. I mm-hmm. will have to do both at together. I cannot allow That's you fun. to enter without I'm fine going both. Mm-hmm. Love to see what kind of trinkets you got up in there. There is only one item in the vault. Ah. Oh. Okay, so Zoltana, so at that point Zoltana would, would know what was taken. Yes. Okay. Uh, you would know. And for the be- benefit of the audience, we talked about this just in passing in session zero. But the most prized possession of this town of Deronia is, in fact, the original man- manuscript of the play that was just being done. Um, it's the original for Shutterlands uh, manuscript of the play uh, uh, Midsummer's Fall. So, um, do you want to go, uh, sort of to inside to the doors and enter that way? Or do you want to go to the roof and see how these, uh, assailants entered? Up to you. I mean, as fun as that sounds, and I do want to see how the explosion worked, I would imagine, I would agree with, uh, Zoltana, right? Uh, yeah. that the, the, the explosion was sort of showmanship, Mayor. I'm sure you're familiar with that. So, you know, look over here so you don't see this hand going in over here. So I would imagine once the roof was blown up, our uh, culprits, if you will, just walked right in through the front doors. That's what I would do. I don't believe that's the case, but let's go. There are two guards. They're waiting there on du- duty. I told them not to leave until I got the place secure. And you came moments later. Let's go. And you enter City All Hall, right. and that's where we will take a quick little break. Um, it's uh, 8.24 my time. We'll start back just after uh, 8.30. Everybody get some water. I know I need it. Uh, take a stretch. Do what you need to get, do. And we will be back in it, like, you know, six or seven minutes. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out. We'll see you in a minute. Hello, hello, welcome back everybody. Uh, Thank you so very much for hanging out. I'm really excited to be telling this story. I am pumped about life. Um, We're gonna bring everybody back on, uh, settle in. Hope you have your popcorn and your soda pop or whatever it is you're drinking or smoking. Hey, I'm not here to judge. Um, Let's continue the story. We have found everybody sort of in one way or another gathered at Doronia City Hall after some kind a person has breached the roof. Um, and let's bring everyone back in. Ta-da! Yay! Hi, everyone. Okay, so the three of you are doing a perimeter right now. Um, at any point, if you decide, you can come in and join the folks, but I'm just gonna give the other three just a minute. You enter City Hall. You sort of enter in like a, this sort of open um, atrium area. It's really beautiful in here. Basically, everything in City Hall is um, carved, painted, decorated. There's statues, there's paintings on the walls. Um, there's a handful, when you open it, the door to come in is sort of open and you come in, it's a big atrium. Um, sort of directly to, like forward into your uh, right is a closed stone room. It is solid stone and solid stone doors. You get the sense that that's where this item was kept. There are two guards standing there, like looking terrified. Um, Beyond that, to either side, there's a bunch of offices and rooms, boardrooms, places where people gathered, all kinds of stuff like that. It's a city hall, but it's also kind of a community center at the same time. It's sort of the Mm. city hub here. so it's noticeable um, that the guards are like terrified right now yeah it's very obvious that these two guards look scared for you know maybe for their jobs maybe for you know their life do you want to come in as well um the other three that Uh, were outside 
If I see that, like, can I see, like, the other three kind of go inside? Yeah. Yeah, I follow suit. Okay. So you all yeah. are inside now. Uh, you can see that Dorna... I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna. Just so you know, things that are obvious. I'm not gonna inside check or whatever. You can tell that Dorna mm-hmm. is like. I don't know if this is a good idea, but I really don't have much of a choice right now. Um, who are these people? She knows that you're magic, and she kind of, for some reason, is like, "Look, let's do this. F it." Um, but she does have her hackles up and her guard up for anything, any shenanigans from the lot of y'all. Um, you see these two oh. guards out front. Um, do you wish to speak to the guards? Do you wish to ignore them for now? Do you wish to, what do you want to do? Oh, I want to talk to the guards. Great. If they look like noticeably fearful, uh, I want to figure out why. Definitely. Um, so I, I go up to one of them like, hey, um, hey guys, uh, how, how's, how's it hanging? Also hired by the mayor, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing, uh, perimeter stuff. Um, uh, mayor Hearthspun, who are these people? And the mayor says, it's fine, Constantine. Um, you can speak with them. I would like to know what, hap- what happened. Um, I can get your statement now. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. Just tell me what you heard and what you saw. Um, and there are two guards here. They're both elves, it appears, maybe half elves. Um, appear to be male and female. Um, they introduce themselves. Uh, one is called Constantine, and one is called Geraldine. Look, I don't make the names. That's just their names. <laughs> oh shoot! I should have used the name. No, we'll save it. This like wild uh... name from Planar Allies has to be for something better than a guard. <laughs> so Constantine okay, okay. and Geraldine are. What was here. the What was the other one? Constantine Geraldine. and Geraldine. <laughs> Geraldine. Oh. Um, uh, Constantine uh, is is speaking up and says, "Mayor, I-, I swear." There was no, we heard nothing. We heard no sound until all of a sudden there was an explosion. Uh, I stayed because you, we have our orders. And he sort of looks at you as if in explanation and says to you, we have our orders never to leave these doors. It's one order. It's don't let anyone pass and never leave the doors. But I did, I, I had, I had Geraldine peek outside. Um, She looked up and Geraldine now pipes in. Yeah, I, I looked up. And the, I saw just smoke. I saw nothing. There was nobody there. And then, and then we just started yelling. And then you arrived maybe nine or ten minutes later. And we just waited. We knew that people would be coming. And you told us, no matter what happens, don't leave. Don't let anyone in the doors. So we didn't. I'm so sorry. Should we have done something else? So when y'all say you didn't hear anything until the explosion, could y'all hear normal things like breathing or if you were to make like a scuffling because y'all standing or dead silent? Oh, uh, are you suggesting that somebody put a spell on us? Yes, I, I am. I, I, it wasn't noticeable. We were, <laughs> we were just talking and, and standing here and uh, yeah, we could hear each other. Okay. Um, but we heard nothing else. There was nobody else in the building um, at the time. Most people were either at the play or at home. N- nobody stays here overnight. Usually the building clears out around seven or eight. And so the roof of this building, the part that was exploded, right? Is that directly above the vault? Is it like a hallway or? Yeah, it's it's directly above the vault. vault. Um, I. I haven't been inside yet. M- Madam Mayor, I'm so sorry. I don't know. And Dorna speaks up. It's fine. Look, look, we will deal with this as we must. I am so afraid to see what happened once we get in there. I and Dorna looks but, at you and says, I haven't been in yet, but I can only imagine what has been taken. But um, y'all knew that there was something bad in the vault. And then y'all heard an explosion bad. coming There's from bad. no strong above the vault. And then y'all didn't think to look inside the vault to see if someone was coming in the vault. We're we're not allowed. Right. We're not allowed to go into the vault. That's our one order. Never enter. Don't let anyone enter. Don't move. Okay, so now you have three orders. Don't go in yourself. Don't let anyone enter the vault. Don't move from the That's three different orders. But y'all didn't maybe think that this was like a what should we call it? An extenuating circumstance? Well, we can't we can't enter anyway. It's it's magically barred. It's locked. With what? Uh Don't say magic. Well, Isn't there only three people? 
and they look at Dorna and says, let me, let me explain. Geraldine, Constantine, just thank you. Just wait. And Dorna explains to you, there is, um, there's a magical lock on this door. Um, there are only two keys. I have one. Mm -hmm. If anybody tampers with it, it will be very, um, sleepy for them. Um, mm, I so see. the, um, if you... I'm I'm very sorry. I'm going to have to ask you to to step back about twenty feet if you don't mind while I open this door. Oh, oh people inside the yeah, vault I... is what we're saying. What's that? So if you pass out because you don't have the key and you try to get in, is that only for this door? Like if they came in through the roof, are we just going to find some passed out people? There are a number of other magical things inside which i will tell you about as soon as we see what is happening on the inside right okay okay i'm sure. gonna have I'll... to ask you to step back please if you could step, step to that wall um yeah. i'll open the door sure. geraldine constantine be ready and you see that like she takes a key kind of like secretively out of her pocket and looks around and like puts the key in and does like a little something something and then just opens the door a tiny bit and it like oh. scrapes like this door you can already tell from her like pulling it open like a couple inches does like mm -hmm. a like a deep like it's like it's like, clearly not been opened very often yeah i mean it's opened mm -hmm. often but it's probably it's a foot thick stone door got it um, and she pulls it open about two inches for now do you mind approaching with that axe, just in case? I've got my shovel! Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, and I, I, I walk up with my great axe. Uh, yeah, what do you need me to do? Just be ready. I don't know what's behind this door. I haven't opened it yet. Sure. And I'm, I, both hands at the ready, great axe. Geraldine, Constantine, be ready. And she sort of like stands behind the door and <laughs> pulls it open. You do. Everyone does the like, you know, like six lined up heads around a door. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Altana's at the tip going like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like your knees. Yeah. Uh, it's mm. very dark in there. Um, everybody, roll me a perception check. Who would be looking at? Um, may I? You see Zaltana look at the mayor and go. I can bring in some light. Good, because I did terribly. Nobody enter. Yeah. Nobody take a step in there upon your peril she um casts dancing lights okay. and oh cool it is a cantrip and you see these globules of like rainbow fluoride colors these light greens and purples um kind of begin billowing out of her hands and into the rooms uh, it illuminates so she's gonna keep like maybe a sphere near us so that we can see and then kind of slowly around the room with the vault so that we everyone can see what's going on around. Okay. Whatever those... Zoltana did worked because I rolled another nat 20. I just took a picture of it Thanks. for I you guys. I was going to say, like, hold your roll because uh, hold your roll because I will just, like, tell you what you can see. Just, oh, like, straight up. Okay. But then that'll come in handy. I was going to ask if we could get, like, advantage because of that. Cause yeah, <laughs> yeah. Since there's light in there now, <laughs> one door is open, the other one's still closed. You all can just plainly mm -hmm. see into the room. You're standing outside of it. This room is about a, uh, gosh, 25-foot square room. Right in the middle of the room, there's, like, a plinth, which appears like it was a, um, uh, a display case. There is a whole bunch of broken glass on the floor. And you see what appears to be sort of like remnants of vines kind of everywhere that appear to be like broken and on the ground as along with the glass. Uh, this is like just like a stone plinth that appeared to have glass on it. Uh, looking up, you can see that certainly like it's obvious that there was an explosion in the ceiling to get in slash out. Um, that's all that you can all see that with uh, your naked eyes. No problem. Uh, with a nat 20, uh, did anybody roll sort of like this higher than a 17? I got a dirty 20. Nice. Oh, exactly okay. a 17. Is that it? it okay. So do we, do we, do we still not, is it still flat? Can we get a band? <laughs> I'm writing that down. Hold on a second. Fantasia. 
I was already thinking there was going to be a haberdasher because there was haberdashers are hats, right? Haberdasher, uh, hats and like other men's accessories like cufflinks and handkerchiefs. Because we were talking so much about hats, I was planning on adding a haberdasher, so now they're called Amazing. Fantasia. Love her. Anyways, back to and, this very serious and, moment. Um, yeah. love it. <laughs> is that so? So I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm haggling here. Yeah, go ahead. Can we, can Give we it get to an me. advantage because of the light spell? No, no, that was just everything because there was oh, light. You could okay. all just see that. Yeah. Damn. Okay. 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 Right. Um, I was gonna, yeah, I rolled like, a three. Yeah. <laughs> it's just not. Yeah. Same so, actually. Uh, two. With a with a seventeen or higher, those people have a seventeen or higher. Um, you were quite sure that whatever this explosion was was quick and very much very likely magical there's a certain like thing that magical sort of explosions or flames do that is different than just somebody sort of like setting the roof on fire right or like setting off an explosive you get the sense that the the way the pattern of this burning is is that it was that sort of like really strong magical burn um you um with even with a nat 20 you see no footprints on the ground. Um, it's very clean in here. This is like, so, like solid stone, like sheet stone walls. And the floor is like um, stone bricks. I don't know if that's what they're called if they're stone, but you know what I mean? Like a stone floor. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like, you know, the best you can tell is that it's probably swept like so well every night. Zoltana, you would know that people are allowed in this vault during the day under security and are mm -hmm. allowed to look at the book under glass. Um, yes. Under the glass that appears to be broken on the floor. Um, and that's... you mentioned that there were vines? Yes. Uh, the vines with a nat 20. Um, I'm going to actually ask this. Um, Bill, you mm. probably... Tell me how much, Bill, you would know about like magical growth type spells would this be entangled because i would know this okay. i have entangle oh shit. okay then probably to the druid and definitely bill with a nat 20. i picked that one this That's... definitely looks like an mm -hmm. entangle spell i love that spell uh and these things were like cut it looks like Oof. Uh, okay. Like a couple. Does it of look like that? Like whoever broke in, cast it, or does it look like it was a trap that they set off? Uh, it's a. Uh, and Dorna tell? will say right away. I can explain the plants. Uh, that is one of the one of the enchantments we have in here. Um, clever. Not that clever, it seems. I can't believe and... we didn't enchant the roof. I'm. It's didn't y'all think plants could be burned? I'm sorry? Didn't y'all think that plants could be yes. burned? Look, La okay. Okay. Let me tell you. And you can see or sort of like take a moment and look you all in the eye. Hmm. I'm going to have to trust you on this. And I, I, I don't know why. If I find out that one of you has anything to do with this travesty, I, you can tell I'm not a magical person myself, but I do know someone, perhaps a couple of someones, and we will get to the bottom of this. And I'm not one to threaten, but know that I may just be a small town mayor, but I know people. And like, she kind of like looks at all of you. You see Zoltana kind, because she's, Focusing on a spell and it's because uh, dancing light like, requires concentration. Mm -hmm. And she says, Madam Mayor, I understand your concern, believe me. But if any of us were involved with this, I am pretty sure we are not doing a very good job at not seeming suspicious. And if I just, that still were don't the even case, know it was taken. Yeah. Yeah, and, me neither. Can I do an insight check on the mayor? Yes, you may. I don't trust the, the mayor. Thing. What's the nice? No, what's the niceness skill right now of the mayor? Like, Come is this so nice? Uh, the mayor seems significantly less nice in this moment than she has mm. uh, in the past. I'll give you that for free. Um, but That's if anybody wants awesome. to roll an insight, they definitely can. I will. Yeah. MK wouldn't. <laughs> I want to try. Yeah, I don't yeah. think Farnell would either. I'm trying to read this lady. 
I will Mayor say for now, for now what like Oh, reading compliments. Uh, I only rolled a nine. Twenty-two. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, I only like got to go up to the mayor and 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 just ask her like, hey, um, okay, so look, you don't have to tell us what's Hold on, in... for now. Give me one second. I just want to answer people's insight checks real quick before you do sure, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, sorry. with a twenty-two, uh, Zoltana, this is a noted difference in the mayor. Um, mm -hmm. her tone of voice, everything. You have never seen her speak like this. And like, you can see like her blue dragonborn skin is like creasing. Um, she's always been like, welcome to Deronia. It's so nice to have you here. Have you looked at the book yet? Isn't it wonderful? And now she is on edge, pronouncing her words as if she's ready to burst. Um, Noticeably. Sorry, for now, what were you gonna ask the mayor? Um I was basically gonna go like look, I, 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 I don't have to know like what is in the glass case. But I was I, I like this seems relatively recent, right? Do you think that they could have gone very far? No, this happened moments ago. I have a couple guards trying Go. Thanks for the subs, everybody. Um, taking a taking a larger perimeter. There were no footprints found, um, as I'm sure you've noticed. Uh, my guards have gone off. Two of them. We only have four employed guards. This is a normally safe city. I don't know. We are ill-equipped for this. I'm admitting that. I don't know what else you want me to say. I turn back to the broken glass, and I and if you if you allow me, I would like to do roll uh do an investigation check. Sure to see if I can find any scrapes of clothing, maybe some blood sure. uh, around either the either the vines or the glass that's scattered around like that pillar. Would you like to go any closer right now? You are all still at the door. Um, uh, I, I definitely get closer. Okay, wait. The, the yeah. mayor's like, wait. Mm -hmm. There are sigils on the ground. I, I need you to just wait a moment. Okay. Let me think. Yeah, sure. Okay, there is one on either side of the plinth. Do not go on either side within a foot and a half of the plinth, or it will be very painful for you. Do not touch the glass. It will be very painful for you. I don't have the ability to turn them off. They're on a timer, and only one person has the ability, has the magic to turn them off. I turn so, back to the group and I'm like, hey, I know uh, that uh, I might not be super magic y, uh, but uh, just to prevent any extra harm to come to you guys, I think you guys should let me do this. I'm pretty good with moving around uh, in terrain like this. Uh, so I can, I can make my way around. Uh, just. Let, let me let me test the waters first and see how dangerous it is. Wait, hold on. And I'm gonna be like, first, um, give me knuckles. I'm gonna give you guidance. Nice. <sighs> nice. Um, so that Dorner, was pretty cool. Dorner does her best to indicate that they are around sigils, um, that you know are probably like wards, some sort of warding spells, um, that are on this. This plinth is only like it's the size of a large book. So it's only about like, I don't know, like a foot square. And then on mm. either side, so if you think of each side as about a foot, um, she says, don't walk within a foot and a half on either side. They're mm. not visible, um, but she does her best to point them out to you. Um, mm -hmm. And she Is this also- the roll, by the way? Yeah, it will be, hold on, let me just- uh, and then oh, Sorry, she sorry, also sorry, says, I, I fully jumped the gun. Yeah, yeah don't touch the glass because the glass is poison to touch. Um, but uh, if you want to oh, then just great. step in, uh, you can just go ahead and do me like a basic dexterity check just to make sure that you are able to avoid those areas. I'm very glad you said that because <laughs> if I can see the area that I'm doing dexterity checks on, I get advantage. Oh, no, get advantage. no, wait, sorry. Get... No, no, that's against saving throws. That's on saving oh, yeah, throws. I'm, I'm sorry. I just looked You do get that. plus four though. Yeah. I do or get plus D4. four. Or D4. D4. Fine. Uh, so it's uh, or D4. Cool. Uh, mm -hmm. I have plus one to my modifier. It's not too bad. Ooh, um, and I can add it just just right now the D four. Yeah, just add a D four. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
that will be a total of 21. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, no problem. Like, it's not hard. Yeah. It's just a matter of, like, knowing where it is and not getting so distracted that you just start, like, tr like waltzing about. Um, mm -hmm. So just keep in, in your mind that's there. So then you can go ahead and do your investigation check. Uh, you're, awesome. You said you want to specifically look at the vines and the glass? Yeah, okay. uh, I want to see, like, like it's all broken, scattered around, mm -hmm. cut. Uh, I want to see if there is any, like immediate physical evidence that uh i can use whether it's a track or know that like a certain type of being was here or something um just like a basis to start from of who was here for sure uh what do you want to do jezebel uh so i have a quick out of character question mm -hmm. and then i have in character question sure. so out of character do we know why this play is so famous besides the fact that it's old yeah because i can't remember so i'll have everybody do me a history check on that one Okay. Uh, I would also like to use my um, my inspiration. Come on. Okay. <laughs> I'm being punished. You're really on this investigation? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Go for yeah. it. Let's go, Zaltana. You're feeling good. I needed that. Um, That is a 15. Okay. Um, So with a 15, you notice that it looks like the way that this was broken, this glass, mm. it looks like somebody most likely from the way it's sort of fallen evenly it didn't get like hit from the side and is falling on one side it looks like it exploded that way it looks like somebody just like smashed down on the top of it probably with a stick or like a, a broadsword or something and just like smashed down on it and it just kind of exploded into pieces like that um in terms of the vines it just looks like they were just the tip huh <laughs> just the tip uh is a uh, <laughs> Who's 16 now? We're all children. We're all yeah. children. <laughs> we're, all, we're all kids. I tried not yeah. to laugh, but then you said it again. <laughs> no, I know, right? No, yeah. I was just like, I, I covered I was my like, mouth and everything. Just the tips of a few of these vines <laughs> are cut off. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, so it looks like me, like it looks like there's four to, to be specific. It's not hard to see. It's just a room with some broken vines yeah. that were cut off. Looks like sliced off with a blade of some kind. Hmm. And uh, just to clarify again, uh, you said that something must have kind came down right in the middle of that glass. That's what it looks like. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, so I turn back and I say, "Okay." Um, so it looks like whatever blew the hole in the ceiling <clears throat> did it like right above the glass pillar, uh, and uh, just dropped something and completely shattered the whole thing. Um, Apparently, maybe some people were caught in caught in these vines, but it didn't seem to do much good. I can't really seem to find anything else. And Madam Mayor, you said you don't know much of anything about this magic, so I'm guessing it's not exactly common knowledge. So, no. like I said, there are three people who know about the wards in this room. Um, myself and two other people right um everybody can you give me that that history check that you just did i got a 31 i just had theories about locked room cases but i can hold off on that i didn't actually roll let me do it yeah now. Get, everyone roll me a history oh. check and let me know oh it's a seven not a nat one nope. great okay <laughs> yeah what's the what's the dc uh anybody who rolled over a 17 let me know <laughs> 21 nice. hey, sure. hi dc yeah i do this is a lot of information uh, i mean if you um, We'll do a, we'll do a staggered DC, but anything over. No, no, no! I like it. No, I, no, I no, love this. That's, that's, that's good. Yeah, Look, no, that's that's good. I mean business. No, <laughs> you level four. It's not like you're starting at level one. Um, True. Okay. Right. True. Right. Right. Um, with the seventeen or up, the two of you, um, MK and Stasi, you know, um, you, Stasi particularly, um, because you've sort of done, you're acting as a tour guide a bit for like a lot of the students and stuff. And one of the main like touristy things here, one is theater season, which we're right at the end of, and two is um, this manuscript, this manuscript of uh, Midwinter's Fall by Four Shutterlands. You two know, um, MK maybe just kind of got like bored working here over the summer and did a little research and found out. But this is one of the few artifacts that exist in all of Asteri, as far as you know, um, that have existed since before the Great War. There was a Great War uh, 325 years ago, basically exactly, that restarted this continent. 
um, it destroyed a huge swath of, swath of land in the middle of this continent and destroyed most of its people. This war was basically, as far as people know, because there's almost nobody left from that time, um, based around the gods and, and like, you know, champions of the gods and they just used too much magic and destroyed everybody and like fucked everything up. So basically it's almost like, uh, like time started again in this continent after that. That's why you've count like the year is at 325. So it's 325 since the great war. Um, uh, and you know that this book has existed before the great war. It was written before that. And this is one of the very few things. Anything about the exists. other artifacts? And you don't know anything about the other artifacts. No? Okay. Yeah. You just know that there's almost nothing that's left from before the war. And almost no people. No people for sure that you ever would have met. That's absolutely for okay. sure. There might be a handful around. Um, but most people would think those people are like old and senile if they claim that they were around. You know, because there, there might be a handful of elves. That's the only race that would live yeah. that long. And even elves at 325 are getting up there. Um, so... People don't really believe it, even if they claim I... that they were. Um, so mm. that's uh, that is what was stolen. Not good. Mm -mm. Yeah. No. So the mayor is uh, upset. Uh, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's mm -hmm. basically I all you back, can get. I turn back to the mayor. It's like. Okay, uh, I'm gonna come back across now. Um, I, I can't really think of anything else to find over here. Um, Is there anything else I should be knowing about for just this general area? Do not touch area? the glass or the floor or the top of the plinth, for that matter. Or the top of the plinth. Sure. <laughs> she definitely would have said would that. I'm sorry, I forgot to say, but do not. There was another uh, glyph of warding on the top of the plinth. All right. Uh, like, okay, yeah, that's good to know. Yeah. Um, Dude. and, uh, I'm guessing that's another dexterity check to- Yeah, pass. it's gonna be lower DC. Cool beans. Because you already know where it is, you've already done it once. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Did you beat a 12? Oh, you get, no! You get a d4! You can add your d4 if you want, or let me injure you! <laughs> that doesn't help, I have- I roll a 2. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, no. These- uh, You I see- backwards. Just like looking up at the mayor and being like, I'm coming back there now. And everybody, I feel like the whole room yeah. is like, no. Oh, and man, the, and floor, just like, the oh, floor wait. explodes up at oh, you. No. You take, look, it was a 12 DC. That was me roll, pouring out all my dice. That's not all of your damage. Sorry, oh, but. multiple dice. Oh, oh yeah. Great. Yeah, I get to be a cleric. You take. Okay. You take 21 points of damage. Oh my God. This glyph explodes <gasps> up at you. The, the baby. I, I, There's security uh, here, okay? I I like I like I just want to think of the of myself like stepping on a stone that I thought I stepped on before, but it definitely isn't. Uh, and it's not safe. And I step down, it like creases in, and I'm just like, oh wait, 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 wait. And I and I like it, the explosion flicks me over back to the door uh and i like like slide like hit the door and then slide to the ground with my face to the sky i'm just like <clears throat> uh, everybody feels like a wave of heat fly at them you see for now somehow all like 250 of them or whatever just like launch in like a this glyph lights up and he like smashes into the wall uh, that hurt. That hurt. That hurt a lot. That hurt a oh lot. My, oh my god! That hurt a lot. Um, now we know that whoever did this needs to know this area well. Or yeah, never touch the floor. Or That's never touch painful. the floor. I have Maybe a you got one of those floaters. Not a eleven, uh, uh, 11 points of healing. Okay. Uh, well, Mayor, I don't want to think. alarm you more. Then you are already. And alone. I just slapped like a band aid on your forehead. <laughs> and I started to get back up and just like, oh, thanks. Uh, I didn't even get hit there, but it seems to be <laughs> doing just fine. Uh, I really appreciate it. It's more like my back area. Uh, oh. Back massage would be nice. I don't have a back band aid. Do you have band aids for specific parts of the body? 
I mean, that's cool if you yes. do. I just, I, I, th okay. You will want to. Now I know for future reference. Fix your shoes. The like soles of your shoes are like crispy. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, Zoltana, like, like yes. my rock feet are just yes. like, oh. How, how, yeah. What? What were you? What were you saying? How can I help you? Forgive me. Um, one of my companions is. <laughs> you see her kind of like clear her throat a little bit. <laughs> um. I don't mean to alarm you, but from what I see, from all of the security measures that you've put in place, these are no ordinary people. And they know this room so well. I think the Entangle spell was just a fluke that they managed. Like, they had this covered. Perhaps one of their team members was too overzealous, just from the look of things. This is definitely, this is most likely a team. They know the security measures you've put in place. They knew to come above. They knew to smash the glass from the above. They knew not to touch it. The only thing that caught them was the entangle spell, which is, as she dangles the dancing lights over the bits that have been sliced off, have been sliced off, so that means multiple people were in this plan. I don't mean to alarm you, Madam Mayor, but I think everyone who has access, who knows this room's layout, is a suspect is a suspect oh yeah definitely an inside job hun i understand that but it does uh, does not seem possible i just and all of a sudden you hear some voices from outside um you hear uh constantine and geraldine look i mean if you would have been paying attention and not just telling me those stupid jokes it's always what me how dare you you're the one who's like never able to sit still i went up and looked you, you know, like it's not my fault. It's your my fault. How dare you? Look, I, I worked. Crack my I, back, and I walk and I walk out to, Ooh, to, to confront them. Like I'm just like, hey guys, guys. What? Oh, geez, that, Top notch really security. Uh, um, hey, look, I I'm pretty sure you guys didn't mean any harm. We kind of just figured out like what what's going on in here. All right, much, and who like, the hell the are you anyway? Okay, now. Oh, I'm. Uh, that doesn't I'm pass the vibe now. check, guys. Definitely not the vibe check. Okay, well, where... I, no, they were just asking who I was. Uh, that's a fair That's a fair question. Not in that tone, it's not. Okay, while everyone seems particularly distracted, I'm assuming the mayor is not looking at Zaltana anymore. No, the mayor's stepped out to like deal with like, I'm, this. Whole I'm gonna situation. haggle, boss, if you don't mind me haggling a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could I make a stealth check to cast Detect Magic quietly? Yeah, definitely. Alrighty. Let's fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I got really excited. I really, I've been wanting to do this for the past 20 minutes. Uh, where's my stealth? Oh, it's just a plus one. Uh, 17? Okay. Uh, with a 17, you know, you see um, four traces of magic, one of which Fresnel uh, stepped on, four glyphs of warding, uh, exploding, explosive ruins, specifically on the ground, uh, on either side. The ground... Oh, on the floor. Oh, oh, on on the, the floor. On the floor. Um, you see that there is like remnants of the entangle spell. Um, you see that there is um, uh, another glyph of warding uh, that is a thunder wave uh, glyph of warding that is on the um, the plinth. I couldn't think of the word. Uh, that somehow doesn't seem to have been set off. Interesting. The one thing that would give them away. What about the ceiling? Because the ceiling says a 25 by 25. Yeah. Uh, there And there's uh, a hole in it that's about, you know, like maybe eight feet in um, diameter. Mm -hmm. uh, just enough, you know, who knows? Well, eight feet, feet's pretty big. So like whatever could have mm -hmm. got in there. But it is, it's a, it's an explosion. Um, you sense that there's a, some trace magic up there, but... Um, nothing that's like a, a lasting spell it you know like something like you know mm -hmm. i don't know i'm not gonna like give it away but like let's say you shoot like a magic missile or something the trace magic mm -hmm. from that doesn't just sit around forever unlike a ward sitting there do you know what i mean okay um, yeah no so. that makes that makes a lot of sense um would sultana think with the way magic functions uh in this in a setting that if she got closer to the ceiling to the roof where the action happened you get a better idea of what that trace magic is um you don't think so 
I don't think so. Okay. You think that like you you all are def definitely welcome to like go onto the roof. But from mm -hmm. what you can tell, it was like the sense you can get from those checks um, is that uh, everything done in the room was very surgical, um, except for maybe the um, grasping vines. But it mm -hmm. looks like it was brute force uh, okay. on the roof from what you can tell from those checks. All right, understood. So the entangled spell, do I know where that, what that spell room? Oh, we like, lost him for a room? second, but I think he was oh. going to say, oh, where's it from? Oh. Yeah, you're back. Hi, it was I'm just back. for a second there. You're back. Um, it, it also looks like it was coming from the plinth. Also coming from the plinth. Yeah. Okay, so it does seem like they were overzealous. All right. Yeah. So she she quickly, um, I would assume that anyone with like a passive perception of like 17 would oh, notice yeah. that Zatan. Yeah, just you got a 17 like, stealth? Yeah, 17 yeah, stealth, yeah. Okay. yeah. To, to cast it quietly. Um, Unless any of you were watching... Like this, this, this sort of hubbub starts happening just outside the door. Mm -hmm. Would any of you have thought to like stay in the room and like watch Sultana? Yes. I'm definitely right by her foot. Okay. Just watching her, but I don't say <laughs> anything. Yeah. The three of you probably would have seen her like do a little. Yeah. None of Bill's business. That sounds fine. Yeah. <laughs> great, great, great. That Once she's funny. done though, I would probably look and be like, that was impressive. It's, it's just a arcane detection spell. But, but thank you. <laughs> and as uh, as like they're like uh, finishing up like the tech magic, if you guys like walk out, you can see Fernell talking to uh, Constantine. Be like, and see that's why I say like like we have a saying in my old place like the trees might grant you a wish, but you still gotta look out for spider webs. And so if like in that case, you just you just make like everything's gonna be okay. Look, you know? kid, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> Where the heck are you from anyway? Uh, place. You look weird. I don't even know what you're doing here. It's like you so rude. To me. You know, there's a lot of people that are coming into the area. You guys just opened like a satellite school, so it makes sense there would be new people yeah. in the area. I'm a guard, Indronia. You think I don't know about the satellite school? Thanks, kid. That's got a bad attitude. You just need like a tea or something. You gotta calm down. Calm down? I'm hired. To, to watch this place and you just roll in here mayor hearth spun who are these people you well, told me clearly better than you guys, are guys, <laughs> excuse guys. me we have a common problem apparently here. you were telling jokes and uh unable to sit still during your uh top security investigation time mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i don't know about y'all but i think maybe you should tell me a little bit more about who you might have been blabbering to about this whole security setup and i will do it until Intimidation check. Go ahead. Um, uh, roll me intimidate. As you were saying, I would like to assist. This... If, okay, if yeah, possible. go ahead. Roll with advantage. I definitely oh. like to assist. Uh, I got a thirteen. So if you want to help out, I rolled a sixteen. <laughs> Good job, Bill. Okay. I'm just seeing everyone roll, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> uh... Uh, with a sixteen. Uh, they like see this like woman with all this attitude who like can kind of tell you have magic it's and this blood on my face too oh yeah a little bit of like a bruise like and a little bit of blood left on your fingertips lips. were yeah. <laughs> nice uh, and this huge dude looking like wow. nothing they've ever seen before you can see that the two of them take a step back and geraldine's kind of like don't worry, Constantine. Like, who are these kids anyway? It's not like the bear's not paying them to do security. We know what's going on anyway. And okay, so you definitely up. did let it slip then. Wonderful. Y'all want to tell me who that was? Or, uh, Madam Mayor, can you tell me who did these uh, enchantments? Because I'm guessing here either loose lips sh sink ships over here, mention something to the wrong person, or they kidnapped your wizard. Okay. So. First of all, says the mayor. I'm sorry, I can't really do voices. Cool. <laughs> I'll just You're always fine. clarify who's saying what. Uh, first good. of all, how did you know? Geraldine Constantine, stay here. Don't you move a muscle. And they both are kind of like, fine. Um, and she sort of like walks outside with you. And it's like, first of all, mm -hmm. how did you know that I have a wizard? Pretty Second obvious. All, well, how else would y'all get warding glyphs on there when you can't do enough magic to pull a rabbit out of a hat? Okay. Madam Mayor, oh. I am in the arcane i am a wizard those are wizard spells and i'm not an idiot so same look 
Uh, <laughs> just then you hear uh, a horse riding up. Click, 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 click. Well, that's my good sound effects also by the way. That was great. Nice. Thank great you. Um, oh, and you took me see straight the, there. The um, tall, handsome uh, elf that you saw uh, riding up uh, appears to be Mayor Sylvan Shore um, rolling up, uh, jumps off his horse uh, and says, uh, Mayor, Mayor, what is what has happened? Don't tell me. Don't tell me they got it. Ah, that to you then. All right. Uh, and the mayor looks at him and says, yes, Sylvan, I he said don't tell him. Thank your speech. <laughs> oh yes, oh, they oh boy. Whoever it is used they somehow avoided all of the <clears throat> all of the wards. And it's my job. <laughs> yeah, I mean Sorry. you seem fine, uh Sorry. Mr Mr. Sylvan, police officer man. So have y'all checked up on your wizard? Cause uh I'd be a little more worried if I was you. And if there's a wizard keeping this whole thing safe, why wasn't check my son and then check my wizard? Okay. Unless the son is the wizard, in which case I have a few more questions that I'd is like to ask. Is your son answer. a wizard? Wilson is not a wizard. <laughs> I don't think no, he's man. a wizard, but uh. <laughs> no. Wilson you know, I think he's a wizard. I don't to believe. I mean, as far as you know. Wait, wait, I've hung out with Wilson. Have I seen him do some <laughs> some prestidigitation of some kind? You've never seen you've never seen Wilson do magic. Did we just oh. break the game? <laughs> Damn it, my big bad already. <laughs> I actually want to try to do something. Yes, definitely. Um I'm gonna go walk up to his horse. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do speak with animals. Oh great. Yes. Cool. Um uh, hello, ma'am, sir? Uh, y y yes, hello. This is how a horse speaks. <laughs> My favorite voice, um, yeah! Right. Okay, <laughs> so... What, this is what came out. This is how a horse speaks. Um, <laughs> have you seen anything strange lately? Have I seen anything strange? Well, it's pretty strange. Uh, I mean, besides the stuff that we're dealing with right here. Oh, uh, well, the Wizards... Sound... This, this this town is pretty uh strange pretty nice. um i was uh i was actually reared up in shorehaven i don't know if you've been there uh people there were that's where I'm. no way get this out this way huh. that's a really great great place love love it love is. galloping down by the shore over there anyways oh, maybe um, i've seen you <laughs> may, i think i think it's pretty unlikely but um this is a very <laughs> verbose horse I, love it. I know this is so, <laughs> this horse is so eloquent. And you guys definitely hear me like just chatting just away me. outside. Yeah. Sound like words yeah. or yeah? Did I... <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, a sixteen-year-old big bad would be great. Nye, come on, we'd have honestly. teenage angst. <laughs> I'm literally changing my whole plan right now. I think you're just <laughs> describing Kylo Ren. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Ren. No. Yes. Let's go find Ben. Um, um, uh, yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, this, this, town, <laughs> this is hard to do. This town as a whole is, uh, is odd. Um, nice, really. Nice. I mean, I get nice, sweet ass carrots every day. Um, I'm treated well, really good. well. I can't I'm complain. You. Um, strange place. Everyone's, uh, <coughs> everyone's, uh, I've never heard, I don't think, a, a, a curse word in this town. Oh. Other okay. than that, I can't say I've uh, seen much, but it's really nice to talk to somebody. It's been a while. Yeah, you're pretty cool. <laughs> I'm gonna I, pull out I an tap, apple and give it to him. Hmm. I tap MK on the on the shoulder and just like, mm. do you did you just talk to that horse? Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. I used to have a friend who could do the same thing. Do you want to ask him anything? No. Okay. He doesn't want to talk to you. Oh, that's but, no, 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 I didn't. I didn't mean like that. No, no, I just, I have nothing to say. You seem like a very nice horse. I, I just, I just had no uh, like substance conversation <coughs> up with that. You, I'll be going now. <laughs> Zoltana <laughs> is seeing to you. everything unfold in front of her <laughs> and <laughs> is thinking who she can look to to save her. <laughs> And her choices currently Nobody. are Jezebel, Stasi, and Bill. Handling shit. 
Just brashly. Um, Dorna and Sylvan sort of walk away, uh, or try to walk a few feet away from you and have like a conversation. One of these. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Can I try to sneak in between them since I'm really little? She's so pretty. In between them? They just, just kind of like you. right, kind of behind them, just like. Yeah, you can, Jesus. you can see, sure, do me a stealth check if you're literally just trying to stand behind one of them. That's not Yeah, very, I'm just going to try to, like, kind of... Is the horse in. near them? Uh, no, they walked away. It's still been sort of, they like... They walked away from the horse? Yeah, put his horse on the... Is there, like, oh. a, is there, like, a pillar I can hide behind to listen in on my conversation as it well? It seems a little more reasonable. Go ahead and roll. Got a stealth. dirty 20. Did you really? Yes. Wow. <laughs> oh, no, that, that's totally... Uh. There. My goodness, these rolls. I can't roll my thing. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Six. Okay. <laughs> Weirdly, um, they can see, they're like, one of them is looking like right at the pole that you stand behind and your whole entire like one side of your body because you're too big. <laughs> like, yeah, like you were massive. <laughs> and you picked the, the, side pole. Of the pole. And they're both kind of distracted by that and like move a few feet away and don't actually notice. And, okay, like sneak behind them. And they start saying, um, Dorna says, look, Sylvan, I do not know. I cannot believe this happened on my watch. The book is gone. I don't know what to do about it. There is no evidence. There is no footprints. I am, I'm like going to lose it. And Sylvan's like, okay, look, here's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go and talk to Jessup and we're going to figure this out. Maybe they can uh, do some sort of a spell to to find something um i can i can help the investigation did you send off a couple of guards yes of course i sent a couple of guards off it's the first what kind of mayor do you think i am um and that's sort a of a good like, one jesus <laughs> my friend his name is jesus and sometimes i say their name um when i'm startled um a few questions <laughs> <laughs> While that conversation is happening, can you see um, whoever is closest to Zaltana? Um, I think it'll probably be Jezebel and both of you, probably Jezebel and Stasi. And you see it kind of like slink back to the both of you, and she's going to be like, I'm going to be right back. And she's going to use Hidden Step to turn invisible so that she can go up the stairs and look at the ceiling because it seems that. The longer we wait here, the trail is going to get colder. For sure. There, there are no stairs. You would have to okay. um, sneak away and try and either scale the wall, which is going to be very hard because it's flat sandstone, or you can try and sneak a ladder while you're invisible away and get up that way. So it's oh. up to you. You can either okay. do uh, like an acrobatics or athletics to get up there, so invisible, acrobatics. or you can do a, an, an extra stealth because you're invisible but dragging a ladder. You said you said this to us, though, right, Sultana? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna take out my daggers, cast the green burning flame on them, and start juggling them. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> You're helped. Okay. So you can roll me a stealth with advantage because Thank everybody's you. like, "What are you? What are you doing right now? What are you? What That's are you?" Well, I have idle hands. You know, I get so bored, and I thought this would be entertaining and not as destructive as what I want to do right now. So I, I would really and prefer enjoy to the pretty less away we're trying to have a calm quiet investigation here this keeps me i calm. walk around my pillar like yeah they're trying to I'm have a, a private conversation over there and i have questions <laughs> <laughs> i mean i could put these knives down and i could bring out my axe or i could play my lyre would y'all like that i could start singing something um oh, oh i love when you play your lyre yeah, play no, your yeah, lyre like, no, no yeah play your lyre <laughs> no play your lyre hi <laughs> well, Thanks Say to everybody. <laughs> my first roll was a two. Oh god. My Ooh. second roll was a nineteen. Yes. Plus okay. one, dirty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> so the scene oh. is everybody just starting to like bicker and just be like, could you mm -hmm. not? Play liar. I, I could throw things instead. Could you please? And just you see like the scene. Nobody sees this, but there's just a ladder that just like slides away off to the side. <laughs> Just mm -hmm. magically floating away. Um, and you go around the side of the building and put the ladder and climb up to the ceiling. And we'll do this scene quick while you imagine all of y'all, Sylvan Shore, the mayor, Dorna Hearthspun, nope, Sylvan Shore, the sheriff, Dorna Hearthspun, the mayor, 
um, and the the sort of five of you are bickering away. Um, yes. And Zoltana, you climb up onto the roof. Um, it's a pretty flat roof. You do see on the roof that there's a couple old carpets and things. It does look mm-hmm. like every once in a while, maybe like workers sneak up here and have like a romantic evening after work mm-hmm. or like something like that, um, that people go and sit on the roof on occasion. There is no way up here. Um, you, there is a chimney to one side. Um, you look down that and it looks like pitch dark. You don't see anything down there. Um, and you see the big hole in the roof in sort of the center portion of this. What would you like to do while you're up here? While I'm up here, I would like to kind of like investigate the area around the circle just to see how much... I, I know it's an explosive... I feel like Zaltan would know that this is some sort of explosive magic of some sort. Is there any remnants to what it was just to kind of understand how strong it was? Mm-hmm. So that she has a better idea of who we're dealing with. She'll want to go look at the chimney in a second, but she's mm-hmm. more looking around the circle just to kind of see like exactly what she's dealing with. Yeah, go ahead and roll me and investigate. Um, That is, what's my investigation? Plus three, so that is 17. Um, Okay, so you don't find a lot of new information up here. You do get the sense that this was probably either like a a fireball or, or a couple magic missiles. It's definitely a, it looks like it's a spell that does around explosive effect um okay so no these are these are really good spellcasters then this is no this is no thieves in the night opportun- these are not opportunists all right yeah this um, is definitely a magical explosive spell that is very strong you get the mm-hmm. sense also that it was like one maybe two but really well done if this was like two or three magic missiles it was like pew 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 in the exact same spot so yes exactly that that you get the sense that this is a very almost perfectly round like explosion um and it was done by magic and it was done by skilled magic users skilled magic users awesome if she um i'm because by the time she's interacting her invisibility would have gone off and to go invisible her dancing lights would have also have left um so she's going to cast dancing lights again and slowly look down the chimney just to see what she can see from okay from roll me another investigate uh there not to be meta but Susanna, have you been rolling for wild magic or are these all wizard spells these are all wizard spells okay amazing i've been very careful <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you really for that. good ones, oh, yeah, i've been very careful all of my sorcerer spells are offensive spells awesome so that please is... remind me of that because i will forget that so thank you for doing that, that oh i a... won't because i cannot wait for them to roll on it okay. yes <laughs> that is a 15 exactly okay with a 15 you look down um there it looks like um it's so it's the summer this it doesn't look like this chimney has been used for eight months or so it's dirty af um it doesn't look like anybody has gone down or up here because you'd be able to the the walls of the chimney are all like sooty mm-hmm. and you'd be able to probably tell if a person went down here because it would be like a, a tight squeeze and they would have like got mm-hmm. all this soot off the walls and it doesn't okay. appear that that is the case um all right. not so saying you the... know magic somebody could have you know it's an Who opening knows? but it's no opening, person but... has touched the walls here it, okay. it appears yeah does um with now with the dancing lights as she's like kind of like going over this area one more time does she see like scuffle marks or like get an idea of how like how much activity there was on this roof um Um, again with that seven it was a 17 on the original one right yeah Uh, yeah. with that 17 i'll go with slightly higher one you uh again see no footprints whatsoever Hmm. interesting she knows not to dally. She kind of just sees, all right, I'm not going to get anything more out of this. Dispels the uh, dancing lights and just goes back down the ladder. <laughs> Great. Um, <laughs> you go back down the ladder. I'm just going to give it to you. I would imagine you leave the ladder there just so that you don't have to sneak it back. No, no, no. yeah, I'll leave it, it there. Yeah, leave it there. I don't know how to leave it there. Sort of on the other side of the building. Somebody's going to find that mm-hmm. later, but... Yeah. Now or later, up to you. I don't think I don't think Zaltana is caring about that. She's too much yeah. in wizard brain, being yeah. like, concepts, theories. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Um, so you come back and uh, you do find that like the argument here is heightened a little bit. Um, you can see that Dorna is like, all right, everybody, I need you all to just shut the hell up for a minute, please. And let me think. Sylvan and I need to go visit somebody. I would a wizard. Okay, a, a wizard. Wow, you're brilliant. Way to go. Okay, yes, there's a bunch of wards I mean, you could have just told us. There's a I mean, wizard. You, Great. You want MK, no? Because uh, I'm assuming if your wizard ain't a lily liver traitor, and he's going to be fairly um, indisposed. So I don't know if y'all can do healing magic, but that'd be my thought. You're suggesting that you'd like to just come with us to discuss the wards on the vault. You, I mean, you. I was talking about MK, actually, but I would come to chaperone her. Um, Sylvan. Look at her face. She could never hurt a fly. She's a druid. Let me just check something. Sylvan speaks up and says, All right, look. Everybody keep your heads. I've never seen you like this, Dorna. This is going... I know this is unprecedented. This is unprecedented times. I'm sorry to say that. It's just no. it's too real. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. Um, uh, no. <laughs> um, we... Look... We, we're, none of us here are stupid. We all realize we need to go speak with Jessup, and I don't think there's a, a, any further point, <clears throat> any further point in hiding that fact. So, look, why don't I would feel a lot safer at this point um, if there was some healers and some magic users with us. I, you know, Dona, that I can do some magic. It's no mystery. I'm an elf. And kind of like looks at Stasi and is like gives you a little nod. Um, she, she nods back. <laughs> yeah. Um, you actually get the sense. Actually, roll me just for jokes. Roll me just Stasi because I don't think anybody else could tell this uh, elf shit. Um, roll me an <laughs> insight elf. check. Tag elf shit. <laughs> uh, shit. Do I <clears throat> count or not count? Because Aladrin is elf, but it's like different <laughs> oh elf. God. Do we get a nat one here? <laughs> it's bougie no. elf. No, yeah. it's a nat 20. What? Oh, oh, no. no. What the You're not fuck? Nice. Guys, that's what? not good, because now the rest of this campaign... It's just gonna get yeah. yeah. It's just gonna get out of this. Yeah. This wasn't wow. even... Okay, this is not that important. But you get the d sense that the mayor is younger than you are. Oh, no. <laughs> How old did you say you were again? Like, 50-something? Uh, like I said, I think I said like sixty four, which yeah. was like in my mind like the equivalent of like young twenties for like a non elf person. <laughs> you get the sense that this mayor is maybe like fifty. Um. Oh, you mean the the police chief? Uh, sorry, I keep saying it wrong. Yes, the okay. the sheriff. Um, sheriff. Yeah. So like, g quite young. Also very handsome. Just had to throw that out there. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. So he's kind of like look. I um, I I have not been here long. I have to admit it. I've only been sheriff here for going on a year now. Um, this is the first time I've had to deal with something like this in this town, and um, I think we all need to keep our heads about us. And uh, look, we need more magic help if the gods forbid that Jessup had something to do with this, and I don't think they did. I they from the little I know of them, are incredibly trustworthy and they've been taking care of this town for longer than I think any of us have been alive. Then where's yeah. the old sheriff? Yeah, I don't think any of us are worried that your wizard did that. I think we're worried that your wizard's dead. Yeah, although you being a new sheriff does mean that there's an old sheriff with presumably the same amount, if not more, knowledge than y'all have, so... Uh... I do have a quick question. So, the... the Elf Sheriff, uh, Sylvan, you said, he seemed still okay? Like, he doesn't seem aggravated? Mm -hmm. He seems to be keeping his head a little bit more than, um, Dorna and the guards. Okay. I want to try something while they're, like, having that conversation. Um, I want to try casting Calm Emotions. Oh, okay. Area? Mm -hmm. Is that an I area effect, or how many people can you do with it? Yeah, it's an area effect. It's a save. Um... The but... we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. 
20 foot radius. Okay. Um, Who do you want to target? Because everybody's within 20 feet of you right now. I'm just going to put it on like the center of the point on me. Okay. And if you kill this charisma saving throw, um, I'm going to just to suppress if they fail any effect causing a target to be charmed or frightened. Because I want to see if they're under a spell. Because elves have advantage against those kind of things. Uh, he seems okay. Uh, Do you yeah, are yeah, yeah. you also casting this on your friends? I mean, it says it automatically. It I don't think. Yeah. I don't think it I can be all of us. And not to. Secondarily, are you trying to do this sort of like secretly, so nobody sees that you're casting a spell? I think. I think since it's a verbal and somatic spell, she's just like, "Look, guys, we just don't have to like chill out," and that's like what she does. She's like, "Chill out." Chill out is you casting a spell. I love it. We're going with it. Okay. Oh, wow, I love that. So everybody, time? roll me a. It's a charisma save. A charisma save. Okay. Um, like, no. may, I, may I voluntarily fail it because Zoltana is feeling a little overwhelmed. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Um, yeah Sylvan Zoltana voluntarily fails. Rolled a nineteen. Um, Dorna. If we rolled... have advantage against being frightened, do I get advantage on this? No, I don't uh, think so. Because I think frightened no? is a direct effect. Yeah, this okay. is not. This I just is the sure. spell itself. Um, <laughs> Dorna rolled a natural 16. I'd have to look at, at her plus, but even with a 16, I think she passes, right? I think she does. Yeah, I don't have a sheet up, but I can easily get it. Yes, yeah, so I have a sheet for the mayor. <laughs> I'm a nerd. <laughs> of course, of course. I love it. Um, Means she's I, important. I just yeah. like to make character sheets for people also. I love making character sheets. <laughs> I think I have one for Sylvan as well. Um, of course. But anyways, um, yeah, so that was a 19 total for Sylvan and a 16 total uh, for Dorna. I kind of wanted that to happen. Oh, do and the guards. Let me oh, do yes. the... Um, Wait, didn't they... Wouldn't that break their rules? Or are, they diff are, are these different guards? Well, they can... I mean, you can say you're right at the door if you want having this conversation. Oh, we went just, outside and they weren't supposed to move from the vault door and it was their big one still, order that was still pre vault, They're still at the vault door. The door, the vault door is probably 10 feet inside the door to the uh, so, um, okay. The thing. So if you want, you can say you're... It, I kind of want to just give Stassi the opportunity to do this. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Mm. So I rolled a, uh, a 10 for one guard. That doesn't pass. And a 6 for the other guard. Okay, yes. so neither of them pass. Um, this whole time they've been inside, like, bickering. Um, so they're, I guess, sort of charmed by you. Okay. I am, too. Um, nice. Me, too. Nice. <laughs> I pass. So is Zoltana. Well, no. 13 to pass. Um, but if they were, if there was an effect causing them to be charmed or frightened, then that's suppressed and they would no longer be. Oh. Everyone else would otherwise be fine unless you were under that effect. You, you said mm -hmm. effect, not spell? Yeah, so it says any effect causing a target to be charmed or frightened. So I guess if it's a spell effect, then it. Yeah, it means it would be as from spell. Okay. Yeah, so if you cast um, charm person, the effect is being charmed. The the but two of them, spell. kind of like, look at each other and are like, oh. You know what? It's fine. We're just we're just doing our jobs. We're just doing our jobs. I'm sure. Um. Madam Hearthspun is going to get to the bottom of this. I think we should just take a breath. Yeah, you know, Constantine, you're right. I'm really sorry for losing my head. I don't know what's come over me. We got this. This is going to be fine. It's just an old book after all. I'm sure they'll track it down. Mm. You're right. You're right. You're right. When you're right, you're right, my old friend. Um, and it seems that they're like uh, chilling a little bit. Ossie slowly takes a sip of her coffee. <laughs> really it's interesting <laughs> she points yeah. out she's just kind of eyeing especially Zoltana and she's just like who's shuffled back now close to you all and is like thank you <laughs> <laughs> um you I will say like uh I mean I get this is okay this is difficult wording I gotta be careful with my words here I would say the any of you who did get affected don't feel a lot different you don't like oh. notice a lot, like. Okay. Yeah. No, I think we I think all, we all just take like a distraction. collective. Yeah, you might take a little breath, and, breath. but you don't no. you don't feel noticeably different yeah. there or anything like okay. that. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, I go okay. up to the mayor. Yeah. Uh, so no, weird no, scent uh, of pumpkin spice in the air, and everyone just feels cold. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's it, it toxic, <laughs> um, uh, infectious. Uh, I want to go to Better the mayor. Like, hey, um, so I so I know you you were thinking about having magic users with you guys, and it makes a lot of sense. I don't mind tagging along to feel safer. Yeah, just to, just for extra muscle. Look, uh, that's fine. Uh, he, whoever wants to may come with us. We are just going to Jessup's house. I'm sure they will either be there or send us a message soon enough. Um, let's just go. If you, you all know the wards now anyway. You know all the secrets. And Sylvan is like, okay. Yeah. All right, yeah, let's let's know. just go as a group. Let's stay together. Um, and Sylvan steps inside and says, uh, Constantine, Geraldine, are you two all right? And they kind of nod. Are you okay to stay here? Should I call in some other folks to help you out? I will be back in nigh 30 minutes. Can you just wait here that long? And the two of them kind of like sheepishly are like, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir, that's fine. Um, and, uh, you head off, uh, towards Jessup's house. Uh, Jessup's house is about a 15 minute, mm, everything, you know, it's like Toronto, everything's 45 minutes away. In Deronia, everything's 15 <laughs> minutes away. Um, mm. so it takes you about 15 minutes to, uh, walk to Jessup's house. You arrive mm. at a small, what appears to be sort of one room cottage, um, Outside, there's like some benches and there's some like hanging baskets in the windows. Um, it's just like appears to be a, a modest cottage. Have any of us met him? Like just, you know, in town? Like, um, just uses to they, them pronouns and uh, probably not. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Je uh, you may have heard whisper. Actually, let's do this. Let's do a um, history check. Okay. Alrighty. Good yeah. Okay. I um, definitely know him. 3020. 20. Oh my god. Okay. okay. Nine. <laughs> Twenty-six. <laughs> so well, holy Jesus shit. Christ. Four. Oh god. Okay. So this is the, an interesting mix, but a lot of you who are into the gossip and stuff of the town would have heard about Jessup. Jessup is by far the oldest person that hangs around town. Cool. They come sort of like back and forth. They aren't always in town, but they are sort of somebody who's sometimes a purveyor of like, um, they would have sort of maybe brought a few healing potions to the construction site when um, the workers were setting up the uh, academy satellite here. They are like the main sort of mage of Deronia. But you get the sense that they may do that elsewhere. Um, that they are in and out um, often. I'm going to have specifically MK uh, roll me another history check. I have really good history. Mm -hmm. uh, 3020. <laughs> it's very interesting to you because Gosh. you arrived here and were like, what the hell, Jessup? Jessup also hangs around Shorehaven a lot. You know that okay. um, Jessup works with one of the richest families in Shorehaven called House Galia, um, and does sort of a lot of, uh, yeah, chat. <laughs> I haven't been looking at the chat too much, but I just happened to catch mages are like cats. They wander around. Um, yep. Okay. Yeah. So kind of, yeah. Uh, Jessup seems to be a bit of a traveling mage that does work here in Deronia and seems to also do work, work. It's hard to say if it's called, if uh, they're employed or what, um, but does things in both of those places. Um, and some of you have, don't know them from Adam. <laughs> like Zeltana, okay. for some reason, has never come across them. For sure, for now, hasn't. For I, I, I just think Zeltana's not paying attention yeah, at all yeah, right now. Yeah. She's too busy thinking. Yeah. Um, so, uh, this okay. is their house. Um, Dorna walks up to the door and goes to knock. Does anybody stop her? I would maybe be cautious. Uh, that. I draw my longbow. I still have my fire knives out. 
I'm just I look, cannot. I look at everybody drawing their weapons. They're like, should, should we? Are we? Oh, um, and I just, and I pull out my hand. I'm like, oh. Um, okay. cautious okay. based on the situation sure. as a whole. There are a couple possibilities. One, they're dead. Two, they are gone, either absconded or with this gang of thieves, willingly or not. Mm-hmm. Or three, as a very powerful mage, they have some sort of traps in which or case. Or four, they're sleeping. Well, then they'd really have traps. I would not want anyone catching up on me while I was sleeping. Well, that is sleeping, then I think I should put my weapon away and I start to sheathe it. It's like, I think I should put my weapon away. I have my shovel. Uh, Stassi, what did you say? I missed that one. I just, I agreed. I was like, yeah, points three and four were what I was going to say, too. Like, I, if they put wards up in the, the area. They might have a word on their door. I have knocked on Jessup's door countless times. Um, I could just shout if you would prefer. I mean, it's you your body. You. We're just warning you. And she, like, kind of looks back and, like, whatever. Knocks on the door. Uh... And you wait. And it explodes and we end the yeah. Yep. And then we die. <laughs> <laughs> and we die. <laughs> it was great playing with you guys. Great game. <laughs> Wonderful. Great game. Yeah. 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 Everything yeah. blows up in the ashes. You just see Wilson standing so. there. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. It was a 16 year old. Knocks on the door. No response. Mom, you never spend enough time for me, so I'm stealing your stupid smelly book. <laughs> Mom. Uh, <laughs> Waits another 10 second knocks again. Look in the window. Uh you there is a there is a window at the back of the house. Uh you can go around and check, but there's yeah, um, curtains drawn over it, so you can't see in. Oh. There is a oh, single window in the house. Rude. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> um, oh no. Dorna sort of puts her face up to the, the door, like puts her ear in the door. Jessup! Jessup, are you in? I, I don't understand how ooh. Uh, we just got an anonymous gifter. I just like the sound of that. Ooh. Sorry. We got a couple subs. Anonymous. It's so exciting, everybody. I'm going to go over that in the end, but we got. Ooh, shoot, I just looked at the time. Okay. Um, <laughs> you, uh, Dorna puts her ear on the door and, like, Jessa, Jessa. Milk run. Okay. What the hell? Come to this door right now. I, you must have heard the explosion. Are you not here? What in the. And, like, she puts her hands on the door and, like, wiggles it a bit and is like, of course it's of course it's locked can somebody just open this door no kick it down I'm like yeah sure <laughs> so, 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 i kick it down <laughs> oh, oh, some it. Check. <laughs> yeah uh that will be an 18. um nice. without actually a lot you like yeah. kick down the door it takes two kicks and like you don't kick it down but you kick it open it's just like mm, a basic okay, cool, probably cool. like wooden lock on the inside mm-hmm. it swings open um and you are looking inside a a nice like very plain uh cottage there's a bed sort of on the back of the wall there's a long table with four chairs there's a couple shelves it looks like a handful of bottles and stuff on the shelves um there's a bookshelf uh there's a rug a nice like weaved rug on the floor by the door um, it looks clean. It looks um, relatively untouched. It looks like, you know, it kind of like gives you the vibe of a traveler's apartment. Somebody who doesn't mm. hang out a lot. Um, but, you you know, there's nobody there. It's not looking visibly ransacked. Nope. It looks very clean. Got it. Okay. They actually inhabited. Like, wow. are y'all sure that they lived here? I, and that y'all were going through like a portal when y'all opened the door? They like a power dimension? I don't I have been in this home a number of times. I have tea with Jessup whenever they are around every now and again. I when they are the, here all the time, mind you, but So when y'all opened the door, did y'all ever feel like a like a tingle or a spark or a no. anything? No, oh, it's just a and she sort of like knocks on the walls. It's just a cottage. Well, yeah, this is a cottage. If I were apparently a very old, powerful mage, I would absolutely have my own little hideaway where no one could just kick down the door. So I'm just that's saying, a, I find this point. more than a little suspicious. There are no. It's, yep. Oh, pardon me. She steps in, into the house. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I was gonna um, say. And then magic. Has to attack magic. Okay. 
Um, it, detect magic is uh, if it's like a higher level than three, uh, the DC is there's like a DC 10 plus yeah. the roll, oh. right? E yeah, I'm only casting it first level though because it's a full bulk magic thing. Oh, okay. If you're casting it, uh, then in that case, you um, don't detect any magic. Feels fine for now. What I'm insinuating here is that either our Jessup was perhaps not the mage they said they were, or alternatively, they never lived here. And so every time y'all met with them, y'all were somewhere else. Or there's some sort of disguise that's so high none of us can tell. Now, I would help with this, but all I have are various fire spells. So I could light the place on fire and see if we piss off them enough so that they come running back, but... And I would be down for that, Lack. Fernell steps prepared. outside, like, nope, I'm done with fire for today. I'll wait outside I'm a on the bench. Um, Selvin speaks up at this and says, Look, I don't think we have any reason to set their house on fire at the moment. I, uh, as Sheriff of Neronia, will give you fair right. Go ahead and take a look around if you like it. I have been in this home a number of times. They are an odd person. They don't live here all the time. They tend to keep to themselves, but they've always been a help for as long so, as the year or so I've been here. Take a look around if you like. They generally check in every other day or so to Dorna via Ascending Stone. And that hasn't happened. Have you ever seen them actually cast anything? Yes, a number of times. Anything more impressive than like, Dan I don't know, snap your fingers and a candle's lit. I've seen them heal a handful of people uh, when there are injuries in town. I've seen them um, help a few gardens grow in a hard time. Um, Have they set up the awards in front of y'all? They did not set them up in front of us, no. Well, would, I know, me, would I know if he's really powerful? Who, Sylvan or, or Jessup? Jessup. Because um, they would have met... They were in Shorehaven, you, you said? Oh... I'm going to do this as a luck check, actually, just to see if, like, you would have happened to, in passing, see them do anything cool. So roll me. If you rolled over a 10, you've seen them do magic. If not, then no. 18. Yeah. Ooh. You've seen them do a few things. Uh, nothing over, like, for lack of, like, we're just going to use D&D &D &D terms, over, mm -hmm. like, a level 5 spell. Okay. Um, but you've seen them once or twice, like, cast something where you were like, whoa. In fact, I think they, they were on scene... Um, shortly after the cave-in and helped uh, move some rocks and heal some people at some very pretty high levels. Um, and that okay. is probably, you think that, that that, you've seen them do some good. I'll put it that way. Okay, got it. Interesting. I mean, that's even more worrying because if they are not a charlatan, then we have a missing mage on our hands after y'all's most precious artifact disappeared with security by the aforementioned missing mage who may or may not have had a pocket dimension instead of this house. I'm jury still out on that. I'm voting yes. You're very obsessed with this pocket dimension. And I'm not going to dissuade it until there's proof. Otherwise uh, it's a D and D um, thing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You, I love you, pocket, you, pocket dimensions. You see Zoltana after being given express permission to go around and look around because yeah. she's just kind of been like, I'm in the mage's house. I want to see what he's got. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. Go ahead and roll me an investigation uh, check. I want to investigate too, please. Great. Whoever wants yeah, to, I am can go ahead person. and roll me an investigation check. Uh, I um, am yeah, fully I committing to being outside on the bench, Great. writing in my journal. Uh, no, that's five. Fourteen okay. for me. That is a twenty-three. Nice roll. Do you say twenty-three? Amazing. Sheesh. We're rolling 18. rocks. Uh, yeah. Bill rolled an 18, but he's looking around outside the house. Okay, great. Uh, Bill, you look around. I'm going to start there. Bill, you look around the house. You see at the back specifically, there is a, um, a flower basket on the window. And these herbs, you know, because you are like a man of the earth. Uh, a herb a lot man. Of these herbs are used in like m magical potions and spells uh, and incantations yeah. uh, for sure. Uh, everybody is sort of poking around, like, gently, like, kind of scared to, like, move shit in a mage's house. Um, except for some reason, Stassi, like, 
finishes the last sip of her coffee, like puts it on the table and then sort of looks around and is like, oh, fuck it. And like lifts the rug off the floor. As you lift the rug off the floor, everybody turns and looks. There is a sigil there, large, drawn in chalk, that immediately uh, any magic users know is a tele teleportation circle. I was looking for one of those on the roof. Actually, I forgot to ask. And that's where we'll end top. today. Uh, Yay! Yay! <laughs> Wizard heist. Damn Wizard it. Heist. Yeah. <laughs> what? Picture of the day, folks. So, oh, that's so ooh, pretty, ooh, actually. Ooh, 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 ooh. This one is much better, but I didn't color that one this time. I love <laughs> Oh, they look so nice. I That's have cool, so cool. many questions, it's so hard not to metagame. Yes. Yeah. MK is a little yeah. bit dim. I'm really excited. That was like the timing. Oh, was, I was like, okay, I hope they like get to the circle because I kind of want to. Oh, like, so good. And so then, good. Yeah. I, was, um, yeah. I was just sitting here and I'm like, interesting. Oh, man, I'm, I'm so happy I'm playing a wizard because now I can actually have thoughts. And I'm jealous. Yeah, you're basically idiot. the Sherlock of the group. Yeah. And I, and I, I, I'm, I'm so allowed to have you. thoughts now. I you can, can like, have so many thoughts. <laughs> I feel like all MK is really smart. She's yours. just like overly trust trusting, yeah. though. You're just a baby. That'll change. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. give it time. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I hope mm -hmm. so. Yeah, um, I need so to be smarter. I'm not that smart that way. <laughs> that's the game. Thanks, everybody, so much. Um, so good. I love very it. Very Like, I wanted to, you know, I had a talk with some uh, some of the people in the Hope for TTRPGs um, Discord today. I also have to remember if any of you are in there before I, like, talk about too much stuff. But I was like, ooh, is it okay to do a whole first session without battle? Because I just wanted to settle us oh. in. Totally there oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I hope yeah. that that was exciting for everybody. Yes. I had I so much it. fun. Um, I feel like we were able to kind of get a, a group vibe now. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Come together. For sure, for sure. You've spent a f an hour or two together. You're picking up each other's vibes. So amazing. Um, why don't we do a little uh, send off to everybody? Um, reintroduce yourselves. Tell everybody uh, on the internet where they can find you. And, you know, we'll be back next week. Let's go the opposite way and start with Vocal Outburst. Oh, oh, it's me. It's Hi. you. I'm Vocal Outburst. Yeah. I was the one doing the Fernell Laethy stuff. Uh, <laughs> you can find me on uh many social medias uh as vocal outburst uh except for twitter that's uh really quirky it's just v outburst uh and uh yeah thank thanks for joining yeah. the the so that's that was so fun um okay 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 um who's next uh, gem me i think yeah, yeah so gem disabled and fab very tired so i think i might have slipped out of the accent half the time i don't know i'm pretty out of it <laughs> but I play Jezebel Foyovaca, and I'm now going to embarrass my boyfriend by telling you to watch his podcast on YouTube, which is Polly Kiss Store. And the YouTube channel is ASF Expat, which is the one in the chat. So you should go listen to that. He's very good. Amazing. And also, we both stream on every other Saturday on Doug the Dragon Board. But yeah, that's us. So and I designed his logo, so if you want graphics of that. Can you, can you spell that again? What's the podcast? It's oh, Polly Kiss Store. So P O L Y H I S T. O R okay. and then the channel is the name of his Twitch handle. Perfect. I just which like is wrote ASF. it out in the chat, so at least yeah, it's cool. Yeah, um, and then send me that link next time if you want, and I'll add it yeah, to sure. uh, the, the the links. But um, amazing, uh, Val, who made it? Yay! I made it. Thank you all so much for being so patient, and thank you all for joining us for the stream. I am Valiant Dorian, also known as Auto Spirit Bear. I am a variety Twitch streamer on twitchtv Bear. You can find me on Twitter at Valiant Dorian, and you can also find me on TikTok at Also Spirit Bear. But yeah, thank you all for showing up. It's been really fun. I'm yeah, so excited. Yeah. Loved it. Um, Murph. Hi, I'm Murphy. Um, this was fun. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Uh, you can request very nicely, ask very nicely to follow me on Instagram at Quick Lewinsky. Um, and I just remembered, if you're in Canada, you can watch me and Queens on CBC Gem. Oh yeah! <laughs> Remember I was... that time I was in a show? I gotta see that. I gotta cool. watch that sometime. Yeah. Um, oh my god! But I think it's only. I think you have to be Canadian group to get movie it. Night, group movie night. Oh my god! Yes. Group movie night, group movie we should do. Oh, Murph, can we do it in the Discord? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We'll you figure it out. That. Okay, cool. I'll figure it out. Okay. I'll tell you how to do it. I shouldn't have asked you that publicly. That was yes. rude. Sorry. Yes. That's fine. No, I'm into it. I <laughs> okay, want to. Good. I haven't watched it in an age. <laughs> okay, great. Um, a, a bunch of my friends are in that, so that'd be so fun. I know it's wow. okay. it? Yeah, a bunch of drag queens, a bunch of Toronto drag. I guess is it Canadian or just Toronto specific? 
Um, I think it's pretty it's pretty Toronto, but yeah. it's yeah, it's a fully scripted um like kind of has like a Muppet movie murder mystery vibe to it, but it's all about drag queens. Sold. Cooler. Yeah. Okay, we'll I'm watch that th- the Discord one day. We'll make a plan. Okay, amazing. Um, 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 Kat, you're next. I am Kat. I play MK Skip Hop. Um, your resident, uh, silly cleric druid. Um, you can find me pretty much everywhere, Nerdlandia G. Um, my link tree's over there. Tomorrow, um, just a little announcement. Uh, tomorrow my stream is back with our Monster of the Week show. It's our third season. Um, and it is called Sabres Inc. It's one of my favorite games, um, that we play on there. And, uh, I'm a new character, so we'll see how it goes. It's, a uh, horror. Oh, with mystery and all kinds of stuff. It's really fun. Love that. So, Love that'll that. be 8 o'clock tomorrow. 8 o'clock tomorrow. Amazing. Mm-hmm. On the Nerdlandia channel, yeah? Yes. Amazing. Um, And last but not least, our fall-loving uh, <laughs> Extina, <laughs> not Stassi. <laughs> I mean, Stassi, too. Hey, guys. Yeah, I'm I'm Christina. Extina, I play Stassi here. You're very nosy. <laughs> I am a fey warlock that's just vibing. Um, and if you want to hear me anywhere else, I'm at Greek much across social media. And I also run the Agents of Dam social media channel. It's a D&D podcast where I can also be found playing with Tara Dark Knight. Um, it's uh, at Agents of D on Twitter and then Agents of Damned on TikTok. Yay! All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me, players. I'm going to pull you off the screen, stream. Make sure you mo- mute yourself in Discord because I'm going to keep talking just for a minute. Oh, and then, one yeah, more thing. Go Sorry. Ahead. Uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and stream on my uh, channel just some more Life is Strange. If oh, right now? To come. Yeah, now? Like right Log now. on and I'll I just... Thought I, ha- I thought I had now. some other things planned tonight, but I totally don't, so I'm just going to go and... Just okay. Just Ooh, I might have to watch that. I I'm love going to pull the watch. group out. And then talk for <laughs> yeah. like 30 seconds and give you like 30 seconds to start it up. And then I'll raid you and yes. then you can just go right there. Yeah. That would be amazing. Okay. Yeah. I'll go ahead and do it now. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you all next week. Bye. Bye.